Hello, hello, hello. We're back, we're back, we're back. For sure, for sure, for sure. That's right, that's right, that's right. Hi, Donna. Hi, Mama G. Those Hi. four hours went by really quick. I know. It's not enough yeah. hours in the day. I keep telling you that. Really, really quick. That was four hours? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Anyone's in the background that needs to register? Here's the link. Thank you, Mama G, for dropping it. Hey, Chandra. Hey, hey, hey. Lindsay in the house. Hey, Lindsay. Lindsay, I just saw your message. After you say hello to everybody, I'll tell them. Okay. Hi, Heidi. And Susie Q. Hello, Siggy. Hi, Siggy. Hi, honey. Frank Perez, hello. Hey, Frank. Oops, I skipped Dora, but hi, Heidi. Didn't mean to do hi, that, Dora. Dora. Hi, honey. <laughs> Dora. Pam Hewitt. Hi, Pam. Vintage Memories. Pam doesn't have a wrench when you get over to your stream yard. Okay. Hello, just finished my text. Is ready for some fun now. Huh? Good for you. That's You're so awesome. good. You're so good. I know. I was so mad. I got a nudge from my husband like at 1130 at night one night when I was like trying to unwind and go to sleep. And he's like, don't forget, I need all of your tax information for the accountant. They want it right away. And he's like, oh. he's like poking at me, telling me, I'm like, you're asking me to do this at 1130 at night. Are you kidding me? Remember I told you, T? Yes. I was like a <laughs> lunatic. I was like a lunatic. I was so angry with him. He likes to get it all done and out of the way early. We had well, to that's a good thing because my husband's been busting my chop for two years to get our taxes done. Well, we filed an extension like two years in a row or something. We filed an extension. He doesn't want to do because then you pay penalties because it's corporate corporation and I don't know. He doesn't. He just wants right. to get it done. Hey, Betty Webb, nice to meet you. Crystal's in the house. Hi, honey. Stephen's Hi, here. Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Cindy Murphy, hello, hello. Misha hey, Leon. My husband too. Hi, Leon. Oops. See? Mimi resells. Hi, Denise. Hi, Mimi. Elizabeth Kay, how are you? Good Hi, to see Elizabeth. you. Elizabeth. Good to Believable see you. Believable blessings. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for well, being here. We'll drop the link again, um, but if you go up to, you know what, Mama G, I'm just going to pin. I probably should just pin. Or Believable, Believable Blessings was on my channel last last night, right? Did they register? You don't have I to did, register. I don't they did, did not register last oh, night. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I didn't yeah, know. I don't think they registered. But um, do you guys, put a one in the chat if you are okay with the pinning at the top, because I feel like sometimes it's annoying to people. You can dismiss it. They have an option to dismiss it. Okay. All right. I'll tell I'll I'll put it up there. Um, how come it says put user in timeout or block user? How come I can't pin it? Who wrote it? Mama G. You're not in YouTube trying to do it or you're in StreamYard trying to do it? Oh, yeah, probably. You have to be not. in YouTube chat to do it. Ah, uh, thank you, Mama G. That's what the problem is. Okay. And sometimes when I dismiss a comment, the chat quits working. Yeah, it happens to me too. Okay. This chat uh, freezes freezes up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll try it for a little while, maybe at least at the beginning. And um, if it gets. Oh, see, now if I go to YouTube, your comment's not even there anymore. All right, we'll 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 figure it out. Technical difficulties, you guys. But believable blessings. We'll drop the link again, so you just click on that and fill the form out. And uh... <laughs> Shelly says, "Don't block Mama G. We will be screwed." <laughs> so well, you're right. <laughs> Mama G <laughs> saves us so many times. You're right. <laughs> Absolutely, a hundred percent. Hey, Renee. Thanks for coming back again. Welcome. Hi, Renee. Carrie's here. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Good job. 
Mama G says she'll try to be good today. Yeah, what's the fun in that? Mama oh, was G? she not good yesterday or something? Hi, Elizabeth. Well, as far as I know, she's been good. But Right? You know. Hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> I've been jumping in and laughing and being hysterical too much lately. I've been, like, ridiculous. And we have Ignaskias over on Twitch. Hey. So this is an auction channel. We auction things off over here on YouTube. Um, we'll have somebody drop the link over there if you want to come over and check us out or just listen this time and you can always free to register anytime if you like what you see. We appreciate you being here. Lucas D is here. Hey, Lucas. Hey, Lucas. Hi, Nurse Amy. Picky Nikki's here. Hi, Nikki. Nikki, we're back, we're back for more. Jen Bennett in the house. Good afternoon, Jen. Hello, sweet Jen. Hey, Sandy. Amy. Hey, Amy. How are you? Hi, Amy. Thanks Hello, for watching. Doug. I hope you're feeling fine. Better. Not fine, but better. Sandy Kirk. Bolo Buddies in the house. Everybody's got to check out Bolo's newest Courtney's newest video I was over there during her premiere some awesome really awesome stuff in fact one of the things I think might be in Courtney's mystery toy box I sent her oh really I, I don't know she's gonna have to look at all those my little ponies not sure I have so many of those in hey Misha hi honey hi Misha Renee <laughs> so glad you're here Uh, Misha says that she watched the scarf video. Thank you, Misha. Oh my God. It took like three times to upload it. I was like so rushed to try to get it up before tea. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Ed. Hi, Ed. <laughs> he says, well, why stop now? <laughs> Edward. I'm going to act like your mother. Edward. <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> Rhonda's here. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Hey, Laura Bemos. Laura Bemos is in the Gee, house. Did you get to send her that email? I did not send it. <gasps> I, 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 I will. I promise. Laura, I promise I will. No, I will. I will. I will. I just, I got, you, we just said it. Four hours went too fast. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Mom, G, I'll do it. Stop. Donna's going to show first and I'll do it right away. Okay. All you got to do is forward. Look, she's trying to find it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to find it now. No, we're going to finish. Casual flipper. Thank you for the dollar ninety nine super sticker. The sticker is a thing that says here. Welcome. <laughs> hey, Tammy. And Bobby Pizzelli. Appreciate you guys' patience with me because the chat just jumped again. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Massimo's home. With Christopher or without? Huh? With Chris or without? Chris? Didn't he go out with his friend Chris this morning? Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. That's so funny. No, he's been home since then. Oh. Well, how can I forget a name like that one? It's my oldest son's name. <laughs> oh, I know, but but um, Christopher is also a really good friend of Massimo and Denali's that they grew up together. And he wasn't out with Christopher this morning. He was out with Chris, oh, which okay. is different. Okay. Yeah, hey, but friend. I was thinking Christopher. When you said Chris, I was Christopher came to mind. And he moved out of the neighborhood, so we don't get to see him as often as, hey, Valenny. as we would like. Oh, oh wow, Courtney, that's awesome. Donna always says to do premieres. I know. I wish I, I wish I had more time to do more premieres, but I am, you guys, I'm putting together an awesome premiere of my thrift shop, and I'm going to do a voiceover on it. Um, it's going to be long because I have a lot of pictures and videos and stuff, so I can't wait to get it done. I've been working on it for a long time, 
Um, so that will be my next premiere as soon as I finish it. So congratulations, Courtney. And I'm sorry I wasn't there during your premiere. I think I was probably recording my <sighs> sweet in the pot deal that I did. So do you want to tell everybody about that? Okay, so yeah, I will tell everybody that I did a video, you guys. Um, just I, I uploaded it just moments before we went live because I had to need an espresso. I do, Lucas, and I'm I'm I think my husband is actually making me one, and I didn't even ask him. I loved Massimo lip syncing with his hair. It reminds me of my 17-year-old who hasn't cut his hair since last spring, right, Shelly? I <laughs> I love it too. He was so funny in that video. Okay, so this morning i offered you guys a sweet deal and i have to make sure is nancy in the chat because i think nancy got do you guys remember do you remember mama g scarves fifty dollars that she's getting 50 50 scarves for fifty dollars i think is what mama is what nancy uh nancy last night got because i want to make sure that um so okay so this is what i did so this morning T, tell them how many times I had to call you to try to get the number straight. <laughs> She's so bad with numbers. I'm sorry, Donna. I'm sorry. But you no, are. no, it wasn't just the numbers thing. It was like how to say it, too. So it didn't sound... That was my biggest problem. My biggest problem wasn't the numbers thing. It was like how I was going to say it. So it didn't sound like you add this and you add that. I shared your buy it now video on my Facebook group. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much. So this morning I offered five of those beautiful Indian scarves for um, for eighteen dollars. <laughs> for eighteen dollars, five for eighteen dollars, and I got a whole bunch of orders from you guys from this morning. So then I talked to T about it and I said, you know what? I'm going to sweeten the pot and I'm going to make a video that I'm going to sweeten the pot. So now I'm offering 20 scarves for $25. 20 scarves for $25 is what the upgrade is. So you're actually getting like buy one, get one for last, less than half price right? So that's a pretty good deal. So I saw, I just went over and I just saw some people made some comments um, in the video and Jen, Jen Bennett would like to, let's see, did you order one this morning, Jen? Yes, you did. So Jen Bennett wants to do 25, 10 pieces, right? So if there's anybody in the chat, can I order some scarves? Okay. Misha wants to order some. Misha wants 20 for 25. There's anybody in the chat right now that, oh, Courtney says, what on earth are in your ears? They're my earbuds because people always say they can't hear me. Um, and then Lindsay wants to um, up her order. Lindsay, okay, Lindsay, you had ordered two, two for 18. Can I do one for 25? Yes. So let's do one for 25. Okay, perfect. And I think that's it. Let's see if any it's more. 10. Lindsay, it's 10. So in other words, this morning was five for 18. And if you bought one, she will sell you another one. You have to have bought the one for 18 for her to sell you another nine for the additional. So you, you'll get a total of... 10 scarves for $25. So one for 25 for Susie. So it's going to be a $25 scarves. I'm ready. I'm making a new list. So one for Susie for $25. Okay. Can I ask a question not to be confusing? Yeah. The people who bought this morning are yes. getting the five for 18. No, they can, no, they can upgrade, upgrade 10 yes. for 25. Yes. They okay. Can. Because now that um, we're doing that, are we taking new orders for Sarah now? She's in the chat asking about 10 for 25. If she wants 10 for 25. Did Donna just freeze? Yeah. Okay. 
So yes, 10 for 25. Because if we're starting our list all over again, I'm really messed up. Why? It's okay. You can, I'll go back and watch and whatever I need to later. Yes. 10 for 25 to be clear. Yes. It's not an order. Yes. Yeah. Jackie was just writing exactly what it was. It's not an order. It's 10 for 25 instead of eight, instead of five for 18, I'm doing 10 for 25. That's okay. the deal. Bren, 10 scarves for $25. Uh, oh, I said 20 for 25. Did I? I'm sorry. No, 10 for 25. 10. Did I say that to you? 10 for 25. Thank you. Yeah, so you can stick with your five for 18 if you don't want to upgrade. Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Casual flipper T is the $18 offer still available. Yes, it is. If you only want to do $18 for five, yes, you can do that. And casual, I don't have you on the list. Uh, maybe she means mine. Oh, yours. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Yeah, I'm doing it all weekend, guys. So you get that. Um, well, it's technically this size box of baseball cards for 18. Uh, it's, it's sports cards. I shouldn't say baseball, although the majority probably will be baseball because after looking through everything, football, basketball, and hockey are, are, are going to be less in the boxes just because of what I have. Okay, Casual Flipper wants one for 18 from you. Okay, thank you, Casual Flipper. And uh, Picky Nikki wants to know how much for 33 scarves. Fresh girl. <laughs> she said 33 and a half scarves. Right. <laughs> and Shelly says, but for $7 more, you get twice as many scarves and shipping is included, I think. Correct, Shelly. That's right. Yes, Jessica. <laughs> Unless I got yours. You just want the um, five for 18, right? You don't want to upgrade to 10 or do you want to upgrade? Okay, Siggy, thank you. All right, so I have casual flipper Jessica and Siggy. Let me know, Laura. If you want to upgrade and that's not all folks, <laughs> but wait, there's more. Ed wrote that. <laughs> you know what? I figured I said, let's just do it. Okay. Vintage. Um, also, I want to put it out there guys. Hey, um, for those of you who got it, I meant to make this announcement this morning, but the 50 pieces of dance clothes for $50, I'm still doing that special. I can still fulfill you know, obviously while supplies last, but you get 50 branded dance pieces, shirts, shorts, pants. Okay. Bimos got you. Hey, Richard, no knives included in these offers. <laughs> Sorry, Moses. I have to say it every time I see you. Hey, Joy Labrie. Correct. Shelly. There's, there, I can't pick the sizes, unfortunately. They just are. A, um, you're on the wrong side. I'm so confused. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll fix it. <laughs> we'll fix it. I do have some wrenches that need to be given out, T. Okay. I do have Renee Plardy. Oh, okay. Thank you, Renee, for registering. Believable blessings. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Believable. And I don't know if Stacy F is still here. Pam also from. Yeah. Shauna Schrader. Schrader. Oh, Shana. Is it Shana? It's Shana, right? Shana. Shana. All right. If you guys can make a comment so I can rent you, um, it will just be easier. Pam, I got you. Shanna, I got you. Um, blessings. And who else? I'm sorry. <coughs> okay. Can I say something? Sure. Okay. This is who I have that, um, that upgraded. 
to 25 scarves. Uh, I'm sorry, 25 scarves. $25 for 10 pieces. This is who I have that upgraded. Susie, Bemos, Misha, Jen, and Lindsay. Let me know if I left anybody out. And if you guys see Talbert's mom, KK, Julie Mars, Barbara Bushmonte, Junebug, Amber, Broken Arrow, Crafty Henhouse, uh, D. Hewitt, or K. Fry, or Janine, we can ask them if they want to um, upgrade. I think Junebug is here. Junebug, you're here, honey, right? I know she commented and said hi. All right. So that's what I have. If anybody else, if anybody comes in and they want to um, correct for me. Yep. That's what I have. If you could go ahead and update or upgrade Janine's because she's sending that as a gift to somebody and I'll, I'll fix the difference with her. I'll send her money if I need to. I'd be great. Thank you, Donna. Okay. Got it. Janine's upgraded. Yeah. And I'll tell her I upgraded it. Okay. Okay, Junebug's okay with the original order. Awesome. Thank you, Junebug. Hewitt does not want to upgrade either. No upgrade on Hewitt. Perfect. KK would be the one you need to talk to because she had two orders. Yeah. So I can just do it. I can just send it to her. The upgrade. She's not going to care. Hey, Deborah. Okay. Hey, Hewitt. All right. So, yeah. That's the upgrade, you guys. Wait, did I hear Donna throwing in some biscotti? Siggy, <laughs> so, yeah, I haven't made them in eight years, honey. I still have not made them. I thought I was going, I thought I was going to be ready to make them a couple of years ago, but I never did. Ed, am I bugging out? Lindsay, yes, I have you. I have you on the order. I love more muted colors. Okay, Jen. Most of them are muted anyways, Jen. Most of them are kind of like, there's only like one or two that are the, like that pink vibrant color that I, that I wore. Why are you, why are you, why are you apologizing to Ed? <laughs> it's not picking on Mama G. <laughs> I'm getting self-conscious now, thinking I'm bugging. You're not bugging. It's okay. We got you. Okay. All right. I sent that email, Mama J. I sent the one you sent me. I resent it too. So she's probably got two or three or four <laughs> now. <laughs> I thought you just sent it to me. I'm like, wait a minute. I wanted you to send no, it to me. No, what did I do? Forward it to everybody? Maybe. I don't know. You forward it oh, to I me. Hope, oh, I might have replied. <laughs> well, I sent it. She's got it. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Lindsay, I don't know how many different um, patterns I have. I, I'm going to just guess and say, I mean, I didn't count them. <clears throat> I'm going to guess and say that there's probably about 20 different patterns. There's a lot like the ones that I put up on the fence when I did the video earlier. Right. I don't think there was, I don't think that there may have been duplicates. I'm not sure. It's the, for the shirts and the shorts, um, Courtney. So it's, um, let me see if I have some stuff here. I don't know what I have here. It's, this is you, just an example, like a shirt, right? Um, cute. Hi, Brian. Mr. Buys a lot is in the chat, you guys. Hey, Brian. Or like these. Oh, so. Jessica, that video um, wouldn't load because I interrupted it. So I, I put up another video. It's there now. I don't have a lot of them here, but that's just kind of what they are, just like that. Um, let's see if I have a pair of pants or shorts here. <laughs> I think th I think that they are, Sarah. <laughs> I think that you have definitely could use them for that. Oh uh, well, this said this one says gymnastics, but the ones you get will get you'll we'll say dance on them. 
I do have some that say gymnastics if anybody wants me to try or cheer, but I don't have like, I, I wouldn't have 50 probably of those, but I could mix and match some of them if anybody wants dance, cheer, and gymnastics. So um, Richard wants to know what the upgrade is. My wife might, might want them. Richard, you can, you can watch the video, but basically I have these beautiful scarves. They're made in India. They do have the rolled edge and I am offering 10 scarves for $25. This morning I was doing five for 18, but I'm doing 10 for 25. 10 for 25 and um they're really really lightweight and you can wear them all different ways you can wear them like this you can wear them you know just and they're all kind of muted colors like this there's nothing really that's too too bright um the one that i wore earlier was like the brightest one out of the whole bunch and i think i left it out in the dining room when i took it out of my hair thank you nikki I hope you enjoy them. Thank like this, you. This one is probably like one of the brightest ones that there that there are. So that's the deal. So you get 10, 10 for 25 shipped. And I will ship these. I will not wait until you get to $30. Um, because Richard wants be, one. Richard wants a deal. Because they'll be um, light enough to ship. So Richard... He had to clarify that they're for his wife. It's okay, Richard. We don't judge here. We no, don't honey, judge we, here. Yeah, we don't judge, sweetheart. No judgment. We don't here. judge. Look at I didn't even flinch when Sarah was asking me if they were strong enough to tie somebody up with. And no she, judgment. she said asking for a friend, but I know she was really asking for herself. <laughs> she wanted to tie. So, you know. And tying somebody up, I don't know if she's actually using that in a term like tying somebody up because um, Donna Summer says she'll take 10. Tying somebody up. Thank you, Donna Summer. And so will Carol Ann. Donna Summers and Carol Ann. Thank you, ladies. Like, I mean, I don't know the treasure hustlers like that well. I just know them like a little bit. Like I talk to them once in a while. And um, I think when she says tying up, I think she means like tying up. Do you know what I mean? Like tying up. Well, I know Betty Webb says she only uses her scarves in her bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> and Siggy Lamp is I'm saying, not going there. I'm just Bo not Boa going there. Buddies is here. <laughs> Courtney's in the house. Just saying a quick hi. Oh, Brian's Brian's um Harley Kitten, thank you, honey. I quick I show did. some love. Thank you, Brian. Heading to Philly to pick up the comic collection. Woo awesome. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. And guys, don't forget Brian's on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, one to four PM or four ish. Never sure about that. And you can always follow us right after Brian. So Carol Ann's like, oh my God, she does mean that. Shh. Courtney is sharing this on her channels. <laughs> I haven't said a word. I, I'm saying hi to Brian, congratulating him, him on his comic order, sending people over to to see Brian one to four Eastern weekdays, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I don't know what the rest of you are talking about. <laughs> um, yes, Donna, she, she means. Oh, Jen, my pleasure. Thank you for being such great customers. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate it. Oh, my, Donna, oh, my God, yes. Does does mean that? <laughs> Thank you, Mama J. Yeah, if you guys uh, aren't subscribed to Brian, please go over and subscribe. Yes, they are. These are beautiful to tie in your bag. And you know what? They're so lightweight. They're great just to carry or just to even keep in the car. Or to carry um, in your um, hi Harry, or to carry in your um, yes in Richard, your in case you forget your face face cover, you can th you know use this as a temporary face cover to run into the convenience store or something. Can I get an order? Can you get what? Can I get an order uh, of scarves? Yeah. You want to you want an order? I of want scarves? to show everybody how ugly I look compared to you when I put them on my head. Oh, stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Yes. Just give me one. I just, I just have to prove a point. Uh, yes, that is Brian with the Silver Surfer. Yes, Richard. 
can you send me one? I want to try out out for tube tops and see how they work. <laughs> you can't <laughs> use it as a tube top. <laughs> Seriously, you're gonna use this as a tube top? <laughs> she's, gonna double it. she's gonna double it. She's gonna double it. I'm okay. gonna root shit. All right. All right. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. It's doubled. Okay. It's doubled. Yeah, you couldn't see through that. You can you see can. me. Look. <laughs> you can see me just fine. Maybe that's how I want to wear it. <laughs> Maybe. To the bedroom. She's like, oh, the, Richard's like, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sad when these are gone. They're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. I love them. This one has um like gold on it, like gold like thread on it. You see the other one there, Donna? See that? Yeah, that is that the one, the green. See, I like green. Oh, I'll send you a green one. Yeah, yeah. I love greens. Yeah, I'll send you a nice green. This is a green one. I'll send you a green one because you love green. Yep. She hid them with purchase from eBay. Yeah. <laughs> You're a bad boy. Maria, That's a Maria. Good idea. You could make a whole kit <laughs> with scarves and <laughs> other things. Courtney's here. I didn't say bad things. I just I said with scarves and other could, things. You could include this as a free gift with every you know what they buy. <laughs> <laughs> Four of them. It could be a scarf. It could be a headdress. Hi, Maria. A mask. Hi, Maria. Also Betty be a Webb blindfold. With others. <laughs> <laughs> Betty Webb. <clears throat> Rhonda, ooh, I want to make a shirt. I want one, Donna. You can't make a shirt out of these. <laughs> They're so <laughs> transparent. You're crazy. You can't make a shirt. They're way, way too transparent. I mean, I'll say. Oh, she wants to make a skirt. skirt. She said skirt. Oh, a skirt? A see through skirt. How oh, are you going to. You could with a bathing suit, like a little, you know, um, what are they called? Yes, Richard, I will. Um, a sarong. Yes, sarong. Oh That's my true. gosh, I'm sure if my daughters see these, if, if I tell them they would be cute, they would be really cute sarongs tied around their waist. Absolutely. Yeah. And you're saying I couldn't fit that around my chest. What's wrong with you? Yes, I could. I'm not saying you can't fit it around your chest. I think it would be fine around your chest. I just think that it would just be too transparent. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? Yes, yeah, sarong. Yep. Yes, I'm kidding. They're called neck, nakit. What's a nakit? I don't know what a nakit is. I like wearing it as a pirate too. Did she say she had small boobies? That's <laughs> no question. No, she's saying, are you saying I have small boobies? I do not have small boobies. Sorry. No, no, Maury. I don't know what that is. My Italian reading. So, Pallare Italiano. When I have to read it, it's really hard for me. Don't forget, oh, I came to this country yes. when I was six. I was educated in this. Off. I was educated in this country. Oh, oh cool. I'm just like, look at T's face. What? What's wrong with T's face? It's a mess today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My face is a mess today, Rhonda. What's wrong with your face? I don't know. She did. Rhonda said, look at T's face. <laughs> she thinks you're blushing. Me? But yeah, from the talk, but it's your, your cheek. It's thing my rosacea. No. <laughs> oh, casual flipper. Here's Ricky. Look at oh, yeah. just Ricky in the background. Right, are you ready to show Missy? I'm putting you on. Um, I'll, I'll show. I have some toys right here and I have some plush right here and I have some clothes. So let me, I'll start with this little toy lot. Um, should I take this off? No, you look cute in it. 
They want to know if you are going to do their fortunes too. I know, right? <laughs> I put color with it on. Okay, this is what I have. It's a, it's a box of toys. Um, okay, so the first one is Sully. I think he talks because he's got a. Yeah, so there's him. And this one looks like he talks too. I just don't know if he's on. Oh, he's big. So they're the, those two toys. Oh, he plays music too. Pretty cool. Okay, so there's those two. Oops, my keyboard is highlighting all the words. Do you have a start bit in mind that you told me and I didn't hear? No, I. but we can start it at 30. Okay. Okay, there's that and that in there. And then there's a whole bunch of these Volkswagens. There's this one, and it's the new Beetle. There's one. Whoops, I hope that didn't break. I'll look. This one's two. Volkswagen Beetles. I'm going to make money on this desk. Hold on a second. Let me just make sure this didn't break. No, it's good. Usually I'm always concerned about the rear view mirrors, but it's it's in good shape. So that's two Volkswagens. Um, Ricky, did you make espresso? Coffee. Oh, you made coffee? Um, I love my Beetle. So there's this one here. As far as what they say underneath, they say 19, 19, hold on. They say 1967 Volkswagen classical Beetle used under license. Are these from 1967? No, that is the 1967 Beetle. Yeah, but it doesn't say what year they are. They're kin smart. And this one is the new Beetle. I don't know. I'll show them all to you. And then if you have any questions, you can let me go. I mean, you can let me go. Yeah, I'll go. I'll see you later. Okay. Then you have this red one. It says uh, Nantucket on it. These are metal. They're actually really nice. And then there's this green one. Okay, so that is one, two, three, four, five beetles, green, blue, black, turquoise, and red. And then I have these trains. Um, they're all Thomas the Train. There's And they're the plastic ones. They're not the wooden ones. There's one, two, and three. There's four. Here's a caboose is five. Here's the actual Thomas is six. And here is Luke is seven. These are big ones. You see how big they are? They're not the little ones. And here's another Thomas that's eight. And I think that they all make noises because they have on off switches, but, oh yeah, they travel. See, so these, these travel on their own, I guess, on whatever surface. And then we have one random Firestone truck. Just a random truck in here. Firestone truck. All right, so let me just show you everything that I've got. I'll hold up the box. Let me just put these cars in here. And there goes another one on the floor. Hopefully it didn't break because these are metal. Metal, I think, has a tendency to... Okay, 
Nope, it didn't break. Thank goodness. All right. So that's what you get. You get all those cars with the panda and with the talking Sully. That's the whole lot. And we have a Frank at 42. Hi, Jill. Welcome in, honey. We're selling some toys. We have some Volkswagen Beetles, all different ones, and some Thomas the Train that move on their own. You don't have to, um, you don't have to push them. Hey, Big Barn Auctions, how are you? All right. Let's call it, let's call it. Anyone else? Nobody said out. I have Frank at 42, but nobody said out yet. All right, you guys, if you're out, you're out. Bobo. Chaz. Chaz, can you come take this, honey? Put it right over there. I'll give a slip for it. Thank you, sweetheart. Where is Bobo? Um, in the Where? Bathroom. Oh, she's home. Yeah. Okay, so this is lot number one for me. And it's toys. Out, out, out. So we have... Um, thanks, Donna. Thanks for what? What is she thanking me for? I don't know what she's thanking me for. $42 to Frank Mama G. Is it Frank Perez? No, Frank Homan. H O M E N. All right. Flipping Hot Finds, welcome in. Hi, Jabby's Treasures. Welcome in. Do we know why Jill is saying thank you? Because you told her what was in the lot when she came in, I think. Oh. Oh, hope you're nice. Oh, hope you. Oh, I said hope you're having a nice day. Thanks, Donna, for the hat deliver hat delivery. The hat delivery. You already got the hats. I sent them yesterday. That's crazy. I think she's in Florida. Huh? I think she's in Florida. I know, but still, that's like crazy. They were picked up at my house at like 5 o'clock last night, and they're already delivered. Okay, let's do this plush lot. T, let me know when you're ready, and I'll put you on, okay? Um, Actually, you will? You will? That's amazing. Show me how you're going to do that. I can't wait. I'll put you put, <laughs> put yourself on. Oh, hey, Mo nice. Isaac. Mo, I was giving you guys a nice shout out this morning during our morning coffee. Oh, you're in Connecticut. Wow, that was really fast. How she got them I... yesterday. Are you sure you're thinking about the same lot? Oh, she said I sent them the day before. So, yeah, she. that's quick. I don't know. If I'm thinking of the same lot. Okay. So Real there's quick. Can I answer a question? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Miss Amy, if you want to order something, I need you to send in a registration under yourself and then Donna can ship it to you. Yes. Awesome, Pam. Okay. So, um, plush lot. <clears throat> And if anybody that's coming in, I do have a buy it now special that I did a video on, but I'm offering it also right now as we speak. So let me know if you're interested in the buy it now that in the buy it now that I have. Okay, here is um, a build a bear in a cute little dance um, dance outfit. Want me to do this as a one off, you guys? Does anybody need this as an Easter gift, or you should have put it in the lot? I know that's a lot to have. Great packing. I listed three already. Awesome. Must be talking to you, T, because I don't do great packing. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Susie says do it in a lot. Okay. All right. So that's the first one. It's a build a bear. This one here, I have no idea. It's it's egg bar. This does anybody know? I don't know this brand name. I've never seen it, but it's a it's a gator. Is that a school or something? Does anybody know? What does it say? Egg bar. Hmm. And it's but it says it on the tag too. Maybe is that the animal's name? Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's a new cartoon we don't do. I don't know, but this is Cuddle Me Toys, Los Angeles, and it is. Your guess is as good as mine. I guess it's a hippopotamus. It looks like a hippo. Not really quite sure. Right, Amy. That's what I think. It's a cartoon. This one is a Unipack. Unipack. Um, Bo. What? Give me that jelly cat that's over there that I was going to, I pulled it out of one of the plush lots because I wanted to look it up and list it. I'm just going to put it in this lot. I'm not going to list it. I'll never get around to listing it. So let me show it. Right there. Give me that jelly cat. You guys, jelly cats, as some of them can be worth a lot of money. Jelly that's a, cats? It's called a jelly cat. Yes. Yes. Yes, honey. Thank you. So I pulled this out of one of the lots. Um, because it looks like an older jelly cat and, um, I, I didn't have a chance to look it up, but I'm going to put it in with this lot. When I just showed this one, it reminded me of it. This one's not a jelly cat, but this one is. So that's going to go in the lot as well. And, um, this, uh, this is a monkey, you guys, this is 1999 K&M International. For those of you that remember, I bought 400 monkeys. You know, Donna, Frank is reminding me that we forget to go over rules and, and things for new people. So, Frank, we invoice here, honey. You don't have to send immediate payment, but we do expect you to pay upon receipt of invoice. Thank you. Do you want to go over some more rules? No, it's okay. You can go. No, you can go ahead and go over some more rules. All right. So, yeah, I mean, just guys, make sure you're on live chat, not top chat. We bid in increments of $2 until we get to 50. Then we bid in increments of $5. Once we get to 100, we bid in $10 increments. If you are bidding and you no longer wish to bid, please type out. If the auction still continues and you went out, as long as we don't say sold in the chat, then you can come back in. <laughs> are you done i'm done is that all you have to say <laughs> yes okay so um so what i was saying was so this is a it's a wild republic and it is a 1999 k&m toy so this my friends could be a home run as well as the jelly cat in this lot. Why is Dean saying, wow? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, little Martin's nest. How you doing, Dean Oliver? Um, okay. All right, Glenn. Be this safe. One, Get home. Too late for Valentine's Day, but it doesn't mean you still can't hug me. I'm yours. Doesn't mean you can't list it. This. Everybody close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open them. Really, seriously, close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open them. Okay, open your eyes. I'm good, thanks, Dean. Thanks for asking. <laughs> it's called a Grumbles. I'm waiting for him to start dancing. I don't know if he's sleeping. Maybe he needs batteries. He was just shaking all over the place. And now he's not. Elizabeth says she has him. Looks like oh my daddy in the morning. He's doing the same thing, so he must need batteries. Maybe I got only one. Okay, he's not doing anything else, but he was just shaking around like crazy. Okay. Um, 
This is just a cute, it's a PVC, just a cute little white, um, uh, white, blue teddy bear. Someone's looking for this. Someone lost it. This is another mechanical one, and this is the Florida State. I don't know if it's the mascot or what it is. Um, I'm pressing all around to see if I can get it to work. Uh, 35 yeah. from Susie. And Susan, stop it. I don't know how to turn him off. And I don't know how to turn this on either. Let me see if there's a a thing on here. All right, I'm not going to waste everybody's time trying to figure this out, but he does something. He does something. After that, he's definitely going to do something. <laughs> I don't know where to squeeze him or touch him to make him do something. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. Oh, boy. I don't know where to touch him. He ain't constipated anymore, Shelly. <laughs> I don't know where to touch him. How can I be good with that? Dalmatian I mean, donkey. I don't know. Okay, this one is called Tess. Oh, she's a Russ. Old new stock, probably. Her name is Tess. She's adorable. Let me see if she's jointed. No. She, well, yes. So she's really cute with a little red dress. Um... Here's another monkey, you guys. These sell well. Look them up. You'd be surprised. I don't know why those long monkeys. Oh, here's another um, mechanical one. Let's see if it has batteries. Hell. <laughs> I hope it does. I don't check these before I bring them, you guys. If you get one that doesn't work, I'm sorry. I don't check them. No, I don't know how to, I'm touching it all over. I don't know how to make it work, but it's a for real. The for real friends are usually really, really awesome. It's adorable. That's a for real. I don't know what it does. And this is a uh, sparkly eye pink tie and it's called, oh, it's Pierre. There's Pierre. We've been looking for Pierre. Pierre hasn't been around. And the here's uh, U, uh, USA, TY. Um, here's another monkey. It just, just a, just a pink monkey with long arms, but it's like in brand new condition. That's why it's in the bag. This is very old looking. This one is, it's called King Plush Made in China. It's a parrot. It has a registered trademark. Um, it's definitely old. It's kind of beat up, but don't let something like this surprise you. Courtney will tell you the oddest things, things that you don't think would sell, sell. This one is... This is a little Barbie. This is a little Barbie dog. So this is a this is a great piece. This probably goes to a set, and somebody may have lost the little Barbie dog, and it could be a reseller who wants to complete a set, um, or it could be just for a child. Thirty-seven from Amy now. Pam, we need thirty-nine. Pink poodles. Pink poodles always do great. And then. This one is Land of the Misfit Toys. I still have some Land of Misfit Toy orders to fill. And you guys, if anybody wants an order of Land of Misfit Toys, you can. But this is, um, it's not, it's uh, its my version of Land of Misfit Toys. They're toys that are just a little bit not perfect. But this one is an actual Land of Misfit Toys from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, okay, so that's the whole lot. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Amy at 42 now. Four real is 10. The monster is 11. This is that old monkey is 12. The jelly cat, you guys. Jelly cat is awesome. 
13. Another long monkey is 14. This cute little rust bear is 15, 16, 17. This awesome gator with the thumbs up is 18. The Build-A-Bear with the dance outfit is 19. And this one is 20, 20 pieces. All right. Amy goes out, Pam goes out, and Adam comes in at 50. Hi, Adam. Oh, my God. It's shaken now. Now it's shaken. And now it's stopped. How in the heck do I turn this off? I don't even know how to turn it off. I don't know how to turn it off. There's no, like, there's no button to turn him off. Oh, well. 55 now from Susie. I have no idea how to turn him off. Okay. From Adam. Adam, thank you. Susie, thank you. Everyone that bid, thank you. Mwah. Hey, thank D. Scott. So oh, new, whole new everything for you, D. Scott. New thumbnail for me. Put it up so we can see it. Sold as it sold as is auction. Is D Scott going to start doing auctions? I guess. Is that what it is? Oh, it happened last week. The postal worker was like, "I left one of the toys on," and and that's what happened. It, he, the postal worker was like, "She's a girl." She was like, "Oh my gosh, what was that?" <laughs> Sean is on the same wavelength as JJ. All right, we've got Adam at 60 T. Let's call it down. All right. Let us know, Susie. Oh, Susie's out. I'm sorry. Going once. Thank you so much, Adam. Going twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold to Adam for $60. Awesome. And for those of you that are that are coming in late, T, I'm going to let you go next. It sounds like you're ready. Um, that was lot number two um, to Adam. 213. I'm trying to think of a special for tomorrow for Valentine's Day, you guys. Uh, $60. I want to do something special for you guys for Valentine's Day. I don't know. Maybe we should try to do some giveaways or something. T and I need to talk about it. Right, T? Yeah. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. I know. Um, okay. So before I go, before T comes on, because I know T has a whole bunch of stuff. T, you're ready, right? You got a whole bunch of stuff? I'm ready. Okay. You guys, this is uh, this morning special. It's going to run um, all weekend, actually. You get um, 10 of these scarves, my choice in color, 10 of them for $25 shipped. You don't have to spend $30. 10 for $25. Okay. I'd just like to let Janine know I upgraded hers because she just came in. So I don't want her to try to upgrade it again. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Janine, we upgraded yours. Um, yeah. So, so that's the special. Um, what's Hustlers putting in the chat? Wait a minute. 20, 20 lot of video games for $15. No, Jenny. That's what she wants is the special. <laughs> Nice That's, try, really <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, so you guys think about it. They're, yeah, made, yeah. they're made in <laughs> India. 10 for, 10 for 25 shipped. Okay, T. All right. <laughs> Jenny, I'll bring some video games for you. I, I, I like how. Oops. We must have lost her. 
she must have pushed the wrong button. Well, she, oh. we'll, see if she, <laughs> we'll see if she comes right back. If she doesn't come right back. I'm here. I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. <laughs> I figured that. I was like reaching for something. I'm like, if she doesn't come right back, I'll. <laughs> Shelly's like, row, row. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but it is an uh oh. It is an uh oh. I forgot to buy my husband a card. A card? I didn't do anything either. Me neither. Just draw him one. <laughs> I needed that scarf. It's not here in time. <laughs> the, the scarf. Oh yeah. That's going to be your gift to your husband. Yeah. Yes. Janine, I upgraded it. I sweetened the pot. You get 10 for 25, not five for 18, 10 for 25. So it's basically buy one, get one less than half off. Make one. Okay. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I <laughs> She doesn't have to give him a doll, Dave. You guys, we're broadcasting on Bolo Buddies, so please. <laughs> please do not eat the gum. Please do not eat the gum. If they want to eat the gun. The gum. Gum. They can eat the gum. She said eat the gun. Yeah, I did. Shelly, we already we already upgraded Janine. Uh, Mama G said that she was going to take care of it, but she's not going to. I'm going to. Susan. Just get a marker and draw a heart. Don't tell me you can't fold a piece of paper in half and draw a heart. Cindy Rosen. Cindy Rosen has experience. Nikki, of course you can get out of the corner now, honey. Good Lord. Who's Who's been in the corner? Nikki. <laughs> Nikki, the corner is actually a really great place to be. Ask Gary, Tom Cruise, <laughs> Elizabeth. You can't ask Farmer because he never comes in anymore. He's on his own program. All right, I'm going to go try to put together a couple of nice lots. Get some baseball yeah. cards. Not mine. Oh, we, we won't even go there. All right. We can go there. Okay, T. Okay, honey. Hey, Deb. Hey, Shriker. Shriker, we need 24. It's my corner. <laughs> That's right, Susan. Susan sells hot dogs with patties on the corner. <laughs> Hey, Boatman, Boatman. Greetings, Sergeant Spork. Welcome to our world. 26 from Deb now. Please, I'm going to ask you guys, don't chew the gum. <laughs> Full disclosure. The gum's 30, almost 33 years old. Please don't chew it. <laughs> Give him a baseball card. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. It's not even like I can cook him dinner. <laughs> He's a chef. He cooks for me. <laughs> Picky Nikki's in for 34 now. Gum has preservatives for 32 years. Casual? I don't know about that one. Is the chewing gum like drinking the Kool-Aid? Mm. I don't know. 36 from Valerie. Forty now from Picky Nikki. Deb's out. I have too many caps to try it. Don't know what that means. 
dental crowns to try to chew the gum. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Say, Todd. <laughs> Welcome, Silva Hestaka. How are you? Casuals out. We have Nikki at 40. Valerie, let us know. 42 from Valerie. Uh, got it. Forty five from Nikki. All right, Valerie's going to go out. We're going to call it to picky Nikki. Richard said I had old gum, four years old cardboard tastes better, right? Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see if you guys are interested in this. This is buttons. Buttons, pins, whatever you want to call them. I think I did count them. I don't remember if there was 35. I'm not, I don't remember 100%. I'll count them again. Lost in space. Tarzan. Never been kissed. Universal Studios Hollywood. Best actor. Surprised. Deep impact. Summer 1998. Like there was going to be any other vert. Wasted tax dollars. Hard at work. Wobbler. Jack Frost. Feel the forces, forces of nature. Athens to Atlanta. What's it say? Celebrating the first hundred years of the modern Olympiad. That's what that one says. What dreams may come. Congrats. I could have never kissed these days, <laughs> right? Till they all come home. Rush. Work sucks, office space, February 19th. Mafia, that's a big pin. <laughs> it's a big, see, a lot of these are kind of big. The Beatles. Hey, Kyle. It's a whole new West, wild, wild West. This is like holographic too. I don't know if you'd show as much. Yeah, it does. It does show. Well, Disney's the parent trap. Oh, did you flip it? I 
think we have two of those in this lot. This is also holographic as well. I didn't know Federal Express had pens. Howard Stern, Howard Stern. Make plus. Hey, Wes. another Lake Placid. Is that the same one? Yeah, I think it is. There's two of those. Ants! Pocket Monsters! What? Batman! Just a smiley. Just a little smiley. And a Universal Studio. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 33 total. Adam's in for 37. Why is Kyle saying wrong Kyle, Mama J? Oh, pushy tagged. <laughs> yes, because he said hello, and then I tagged it, and I didn't pay attention, so I tagged oh. the wrong one. They've got too many ta Kyles and too many Connies. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? All right, we're going to call it to Adam. For 37. Thank you, everyone, who is bidding. All right. Only one Mama G. That's right, Dale. Only one Mama G. I'll just go home if you weren't saying hi to me. Kyle, of course we're always saying hi to you. Thank you, Adam. Oh my gosh, now I can't win for losing. You guys are going to give me a complex today. I'm just going <laughs> to go home. Oh, wait, I already am home. Oh. All right, let's see if anybody wants these. These look real vintage. But we'll see if there's any interest. I don't know. We've got this gal. I think I had one of these before. She She's a 1974 Play Pal Plastics. That's what it says on her little tag here. 1974 Play Pal Plastic. And we got her. This one says 1776 on her.
his Care Bear in here. Kenner. It's a Kenner. Does that mean it does something? I don't know. It's a Kenner Care Bear. Who Are is that? Starting at 20. 20. Who, who is Adam asking to text him? Oh, oh, Deborah. Okay. How is she going to know how to text you? Does she have your phone number? <laughs> Just saying, Adam. <laughs> Just wondering. Just wondering. <laughs> Just wondering. And then there's this, this cutie doll. She is, she's Mattel. She's got beanbag, Heine. It's Mattel. Let's see. It's definitely vintage. Made in Taiwan. She cute. Made in Taiwan. Let's see if I can get a year on her. No, I don't see a year. But her Heine's got beanies in it. Got beans in it. Like she could sit on a shelf. I think she could like sit on a shelf and you could turn her. I guess that's what you can do with her. This this is this is um like a weird animal. This thing here, <laughs> I don't know what the, it's like. Got a butterfly, but it's got this long tail. What has wings with a long tail like that? I have no idea. Let me see if she or he. Oh, this is Disneyland. Disneyland. Well, oh no, Walt Disney World, 1986 Disney, made in Korea. It's a mutant. Jenny says it's a mutant. I don't know. <laughs> Siggy. Oh, Siggy, Siggy, Siggy. You got this guy. <clears throat> This one is a Wallace Berry, Wallace Berry and Company, 19, can't see the year. Let me see if I can get my phone a little closer to see the year. 1983, Wallace Berry on that one. <laughs> Ziggy. <laughs> <clears throat> You got this guy. He's a breakfast baby. Still got a tag that says breakfast baby. 1997 General Mills. It is branded General Mills. It's probably one of those cereals. I don't know what the name of the cereal is, but. Oh, look what we have here. No way. It's a rainbow bread. It's a rainbow bright. She needs a little cleaning, though. She, her face is a little bit dirty. She has a little bit of dirt on her face. She is 1983 Hallmark Cards, Mattel, Hawthorne, California, made in Taiwan. Hey, KJ. It's T's computer picking up alien communication. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. And then this looks like a puppet. This looks like a puppet. It's, this is a wood face. This is a wood face. I don't know. Let's see if we'll find a, see if we can find a tag and get this stupid paper off her head. Yeah, it's definitely a finger puppet with a wood head. But I don't see any tags on it. And you ran your hand all the way up that dress, didn't you? I did. <laughs> Just check it. I did. I did. I did. All right. So you got that. There's another one here with a lot of hair. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> 
Kyle. <laughs> All right. I, I'm not a puppeteer, so but we'll try. Um, this one is definitely, I mean, these look vintage. These are definitely vintage, but definitely needs um, a little TLC, if you guys can see on the white. You guys can see on the white little what i would call like foxing or staining like you'd see in a book to me definitely some needs needs some cleaning look at the hair <laughs> all right you got that one and there's actually quite a few in here and probably should have done these by themselves but that's all right you guys and get the bargains. That one's cute too. I don't know what years these saw. Wooden faces, like I said. Um, definitely the styles look like they could be 60s or 70s in the dresses and stuff. I don't remember them, but who knows? And then again, I didn't play with dolls. And you got this guy. Uh, this guy looks like he... Oh, there we go. I got his head on. I got to get his head on right. How to get his head on right. Are they branded? Janine, I do not see a brand. I, I do not see anything on these, to be honest with you. For all I know, they could be handmade. I don't know. But they are wooden carved. Just a quick question to you while we're going through this lot. I can't find your specialty shop on eBay. I mean, is that under my great finds or is it under something else? I sold the last doll. They're all gone? Yeah. All your stuff? All your naughty stuff is gone? I, I sold my last doll about a week maybe two weeks ago. And I haven't ordered more because I think I'm going to have a problem with the... Um, with the managed payments. Oh. Because Apple Pay is not allowing some of that stuff. I don't know. I got to look more into it before I before I replenish the store. Oh, and the other ones, I just, I have them. I just haven't put more up again because of the same reason. Got it. I was just like, how many items am I going to have to go through to find something good? Yeah. <laughs> Um, this, this one definitely needs a little TLC. This is like, um, Donna's with her misfit toys. This one LI from the elephant is missing and she has a baby with her. They are kind of tied together. These are really vintage. They say Japan on them. Wow. So these are really old, but it's a mama elephant and a baby elephant, but mama needs an eye. And then this little guy, this little clown guy, and he is Ringling Brothers, made in China. It's a little newer, I guess. It doesn't have a year. Just says Ring, Ringling Brothers and Bonham and Bailey Circus. Probably a clown or something they gave away there. All right. I think that's it. Oh, there's another little, little, there's just a McDonald's toy, little doggy with, with the ring. All right. So you got one, you got two, you got three, you got four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oops. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And 16. So 16 total pieces in that. And 
and we got Karen in at 60. Thank you guys. All right, let's call it. Let's call it. Let's call it. Let's call it. Misha's out. Adam comes in for 66. Of course he does. <laughs> Adam, you love those different numbers. Don't get us in trouble again. <laughs> 71 is the next bid. Oh, thank you, Misha. It's definitely vintage. <laughs> it's definitely vintage. Hey, Joy. All right, Karen's going to be out. Connie let us know. Misha was out. Pam is out. All right, Connie's going to be out too. All right, we're going to call it to Adam. Thank you, Adam. 16 vintage pieces. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, 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 woo. Congratulations, Adam. Thank you. Kelly. Hi, honey. All right, let's do this lot. This is just a very small for my Trekkies. If there's any Trek fans in here, we'll start this off at 10 bucks. I have no idea if there's anything here or not, but there's a couple of Star Trek things. A um, couple of comics. No, one, two. Three, four Star Trek comics, and then I threw in an X Files and this Prima's official strategy guide for Starcraft and the Star Trek coloring book. Well, just a little small lot. Casual came in for 10. Pam's in for 15. Oh, June bug. June bug. Go visit with your family. June bug has FOMO. June bug, go be with your family, honey. We'll be on again tomorrow. I promise. KJ, I'm trying to stay out of trouble. That's why I keep muting myself. I know. I'm looking at all, all these track, retracted things, too, Mama G. What's going on? <laughs> I can't type either. All right. Flipping Hot Finds at 15. KJ comes in at 17. I know you would, June Bug, and we love you for that. We love you for that. But to be honest with you, I mean, come on. We, we'll see you tomorrow. I don't I don't want you to go away either. Believe me. But you got to be with your family sometimes. We'll be here for a little while. Maybe they'll be gone in an hour or two. 
All right, flipping hot finds in at 20. KJ comes in for 22. Jumba comes in for 25. Kyle's like, if you're laughing or giggling, Mama G, we want to hear it. <laughs> KJ's out. Flippin' Hot Finds is in for 27. Casual is out. She does, right, Elizabeth? June bugs in for 30. I don't like my family. That's why they don't live. Oh my God. Wish I had an ASMR of her giggling. Oh, we, we could we could arrange that for you, Kyle. <laughs> we could arrange that for you. Oh my gosh, what even is that? <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> uh, it's just a it's a it's a small Moni Love. It's Star Trek, a couple of comics. What issue what numbers? Issue? All right, so this one is. Issue 20, issue 46, issue, I don't have an idea, but it has a barcode. I don't know this one. I don't know. But that one's, that one's the cheapest of all of them. That one's the next cheapest. These are early. They're probably singles. He has issue three on the X Files, a Star Trek, a Starcraft Primus official strategy guide, and the Star Trek coloring book. M Mama G, you don't know what AMSR is? ASMR is? You've never seen one of those? Only the one with Donna and the raindrops or something the one yeah, time that yeah, we were like all calming. laughing so hard. Yeah, it's like a calming thing, yes. I just laugh. I can't help it. I laughed at that with Donna, too. All right, we're going to call it to Junebug. Did, um, did Flippin' Hot Finds go out? Money me. Thank you for the $2 super sticker. How are you? Pam, let us know if you're out. We have Junebug in at 30. Hey, Sandra Killian. 32 to flipping hot finds. Mama G only giggles when I tickle them. <laughs> oh. TM back if you need me. You're up. As soon as we okay. sell this. All right. 34 from Junebug. Thirty-six from Flippin' Hot Finds. It's like videos people make for like calming sounds. Jumbo comes in for 40. Hey, Carol. Hey, Joanne.
Shelly wants to know what's ASMR. We're trying to explain it. It's like a calming video, like a repeated video, repetitive. All right, flipping hat, hat finds is out. We're going to sell to Junebug for 40. It's like pimple popping. It's like watching raindrops. It's like. Donna did one. Donna, you did one. I did with raindrops. Yeah. I just wanted to try it. I always like to try new things. Okay. Um, this is my first um, offer up. We'll start it at 10. It will have to be combined shipping. It's all these knitting needles. There's a lot of wooden ones on there. The wooden ones have um, like names written on them. So I think that they're either just really good ones or um, I don't know. I, I didn't match them up to make sure that they're all there. This is how they were found. And, you know, if you do have a mismatched one, don't be afraid to list a mismatched one. Because <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> She's like, what? Wait, what? Why would popping pimples put you to sleep? <laughs> I don't know. Some people love watching them. Jenny said she did a couple with music. My dog snoring is good ASMR. Okay. So there's a lot of them. Um, all these knitting needles for either someone who likes to knit or if you're a reseller, $10 start. <laughs> yes, Shelly, that is what she said. <laughs> Heidi says she loves watching them. Oh, see, everybody loves your laugh. Look at little Martin's nest, Mama G. Oh, thanks. Knitting needles, folks? Anybody? 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 Bueller? Anybody? Bueller? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to list knitting needles? Crystal does. Crystal wants to. Does anybody else want to? Or just Crystal? Maybe she okay. wants to use them for crafts. Who knows? Richard, Richard's going to opt for these. Opt for him. Wife. <laughs> <laughs> Too dangerous in my hands right now. Right, Sandy Kirk? <laughs> That's, that, that, that knitting needles reminds me of the movie Foul Play with Goldie Hawn and Dudley Moore. Elizabeth says, knitting needles are expensive. <laughs> Y'all. Expensive. <laughs> hey, Carl. Carl. <laughs> hey, Carl. Sharp points. Yes. There they are. There's some ASMR. See, this would be ASMR. This is ASMR. Like if I took these knitting needles and I did a video of just this with just like a repetitive music of just like doing this. Good night, Stephen. Like Thanks this for is, coming in. This is ASMR. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's, I'm that's, sorry. That's the kind of stuff it is. It's like weird. It's like, it's like, I don't know. Heidi watches it. Heidi, would you consider that ASMR if I like took these knitting needles and just did that for like the longest time, just went around and all you could see was the knitting needles, not my face. Like if they were like this and you just did this and you just watched that. Right? That would be it. It makes me think you're going to poke me in the eye. <laughs> Carl's in for 16 now. <laughs> that's right. Well, I could watch your candle all day long and stare at that fire that's, flicking. That's ASMR, too. Like, I could do a video of just that flame flickering. Yeah, see, that would keep my attention more than the spinning death daggers of needles you were poking at us. Well, some people are <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Some people want to, like the AS. I did an ASMR where I just would. I just kept picking up and like letting Legos. When I I had a ton of Legos, which I still do. You guys, they're in my mini storage. A ton of Legos, um, like loose Legos, um, where I would just let them just like fall through my hands. Like pick them up and just let them fall through my hands. That's ASMR too. 
Hypnotic knitting daggers. Yep. I have like two 25 gallon totes filled with um, Legos for anybody who's interested um, in Legos. Um, the last time I brought them, I really didn't. I think I have a bag here or I have some loose ones. Last time I brought them, there was uh, not much interest in them. So I just stuck them in the mini storage, which is, you know, often that's what I'll do. I'll just, you know, if I find that there's no one interested in something, then I'll bring it back like a few months later and just let it sit in the mini storage. Look, I didn't show plush for a really long time, right, T? She's not there. Right, Donna, you didn't. I didn't. And no. now, and now I pulled all my plush out again. Okay, we're sold to Crystal for 18. Yes, but I put lot D4 and it's not. It's D3. Yes. Crystal, it won't take me as long. I don't know if you have any other orders with me. I was going to say it won't take me as long as it took me to ship out those clocks. Um... $18 for the knitting needles. And I don't need to mark these because I have no other knitting needles. I have I have an order here from Michelle Petty's that I haven't shipped out. Michelle, are you in the chat? I haven't seen you around in a while. I know sometimes she's really quiet. She doesn't um she doesn't say hello because then she has to say hello to a million people. But if you're in the background, Michelle, hi honey. I haven't spoken to you in a really long time. I hope you're well. Crystal, you got the clocks today? I shipped those out like two weeks ago. Well, maybe a week and a half ago. Holy cow. That was a long time. All right. Here's my next lot. It's another reseller lot. It's um a whole bunch of brand new old stock um, tights and pantyhose and I'll show you what's in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of this kind. This is Cecilia Kirch tights, comfortable tights, microfiber, panty, blah, 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 jazz and ballet. So, and these are adults, they're not children. So those would be a really easy list. Do they have barcodes? Some of them are so old, they don't have barcodes. Um, no, there's no barcodes on these, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to search them up. <laughs> How much are we starting this lot out at, please? Let's start it at thirty. Okay. Um, so you get uh, two pairs of these dress barn woman's nylon spandex tights, one and two X, and then I'll just show you. Um, you get the Hanes and more Hanes. And Lane Bryant, Lane Bryant again, um, Silk Reflections, here's a Hue, Oh So Sexy, here's Calvin Klein, and these two are married, okay, here's Calvin Klein again, here is Sophie, um, Donna Karen, Sheer Caress. I'll give you a count in the end. But first I'll show you. Belly Band. Must be for pregnant people. Gallery. Burlington. Burlington again. They're called Sheer Legacy. There's two of those. And then, of course, these are the ones that I showed you at first, the ballet ones. These will probably be your best sellers, these ballet ones. And then you get um, Sheer Basics, four pairs of size XL or XXL nylon legs. So they're knee highs. Knee highs, and here's another silky support knee highs so including the the one x tights and the knee highs all right so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six there's twenty seven pairs and this is what's nice about it you guys look at how nice and you 
these, you list these as they sell. They weigh under probably three ounces. Put them in a poly mailer. You don't have to worry about breakage and send them out. And they take very little room up in your in your um, eBay room or your stock room where you keep your things. And it's just list and post. Nice and easy. Hey, Bruce. Jenny's in a 34 now. And why, Je Jenny, why were you saying that I was listening to ASMR? <laughs> Is somebody calling me? Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Karen at the beach. I'm drinking my coffee with milk. That does not make me very happy. I can't stand coffee with milk. We're always out of coffee cream. And I buy them two at a time. But there's so many coffee drinkers in this house. We literally, they like stand in line at the coffee maker in the morning to get coffee, waiting for it to finish brewing, like in, like in the office. Jenny's in for 42. Carl goes out. Karen is out. All right, Jenny. Thank you, honey. $42. Pantyhose. All right. Lot number five was $42. No. No. This is lot number four. I screwed up, remember? Oh, yeah, I no, it's lot number four. I wrote, I wrote four. I wrote four. Okay, okay, because yeah, I did the... No, I wrote four. Thank you. You said five. I'm just making I sure. I, I just put number five down on my sheet because that's the next lot that I'm going to show is number five. All right, let me put this here. And let me grab this. $10. Ooh, Ruth said that's a beautiful coffee mug. June Bug made it for me. That was the day before his most important surgery he ever had in his life. Look at him, how beautiful. He's an angel. His hair was coming back because they had to stop doing chemotherapy on him to get him ready for um for his um he had what they call a whipple. I don't know if you guys know what a whipple is, but he had whipple surgery, my poor baby, which is too much for an adult to take, never mind an 11 year old boy. June bug made it for me. Because we have new people in the chat, I just wanna say that the jar is not included. So it's gonna be all of the jewelry that's in there. Thanks guys. Okay, let me give you a close up. All right. Lindsay comes in for 10. Treasure Hustlers at 15. Nora A at 20. And Sandra at 25. Lindsay now at 27. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> And just so that you know, if you type out, you can always come back in. I keep wanting to take that sticker off. It's been two years. I've been using the same jar. I still haven't done it. <laughs> Nora's in for 30. Uncurated. I just grabbed and stuck it in here. 
Uh, people have told me that they've found as many as, I don't know, a hundred necklaces in here. Depends on the chunkiness and the size. That looks like it's stone, doesn't it? With the little spheres around it. I see leather. Adam comes in for 33, Nora for 35. Sandra, we need 37, honey. That blue is really pretty. <clears throat> Sandra's in at 37. I wonder if I did this, if you got a really good picture. I've never tried this. Get a good picture of my rotten nails. My working hands. Nora comes in for 40. Adam's at 50 now. Fifty-five from Nora. Thank you, Nora. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Nancy, <laughs> no worries. Nancy, you're so good to me. Are you kidding me? I'm just happy that you're here, sweetheart. Got to get some of that stuff listed so that you can come back and spend more money at the auction. You have to do with um, Anthony does. Uh, bluegrass picker. If he spends a certain amount, he makes sure he lists that amount other before he comes and buys something. He's really good like that. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's a good way to be. Adam's in for 66 now. That's a really good way to be. I'm going to add this to it. Um, it's been sitting here forever. It's an NFL um Remember, T, I offered it up to you. It's an NFL bracelet. It's been sitting here on my desk. You said you didn't want it, right? Right. Okay. Don't want to give away something that you said you wanted. It's an NFL bracelet. So under that should be under different circumstances. I may have wanted it. Right. So I'm going to put that NFL bracelet in there. And then I'm going to put this in there too. I, I have no idea what this is, you guys. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy looking. So it's this big, huge clip. And it's all of these skulls. What is this, you guys? Is this like is this like what a biker would wear, like hooked onto his belt and then put like his wallet on the other end? Well, there's nothing on the other end except for to be able, unless something's missing, unless to be able to do that. Hmm. But it's really heavy. It's really chunky and heavy. I would probably say it's it's stainless steel. Wallet chain says flipping hot finds biker bracelet says it's a choker. I could wear it as a choker. Ooh. With my oh, scarf. See? Put the scarf That's on a, now. <laughs> I know. Killer choker with a scarf as a tube top. A vest extender, Carl. Everybody's saying it's a wallet chain. What's a vest extender? I think he's teasing. <laughs> yes, I had one from my wallet, Richard says. It's really not that comfortable, to be honest with you. <laughs> no, Donna, before you turn blue, could you please take that off? You're getting me very nervous. It's kind of choking me a little bit as a choker. She's starting to look a little blue, guys. <laughs> they make vest extenders. Oh, they do? For bikers. It's missing the engine, says. 
Oh my God, I can't get it off. Oh my God, Ricky! <laughs> I got it. I got it. So, I mean, I don't know, like, how it would be missing the end. It looks like it's finished. Oh, it's so funny. Now, that side, when you show that, looks like... um. Now I know what they say in Best Extender because it looks like a little clip there. I got it, Carl. I got it. Yeah. I don't know, but whatever it is, it's going in the jar. That's going in there, too. All right. We have Adam in at 77. We're going to call it. The end is for the wallet. The end hooks to the wallet. I don't think I can close this. Yep, I can. <clears throat> sold, sold, sold. Oh, it weighs a ton. Okay. Sold, sold, sold to Adam for 77 the jewelry jar. The wallets have hooks too, so that you can, you, it, you know, you're not necessarily missing it, is what they're saying as well. Oh. To Adam. Thank you, Adam. Uh-oh. Is somebody expecting a guest? I just missed the call from the guard. Hopefully he'll call my husband. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do these games that I have here next. These are all the GameStop games. Um... I have an order. I think I have one more box. Um, I sent out Nancy's and then I got another order for a hundred of them. I think I have one more box in the garage. I have to look, but these have been sitting on my desk for like a week. So I want to just get rid of this one lot. Okay. So there's this one at the division two, Tom Clancy, the, um, yeah, the original price was 49 99, but it is open. And then some of these, so so the good thing about, we have guest <laughs> flipper. Um, the good thing about these is they've all been tested. Uh, this one's a PlayStation 4, but some of them don't have the original, um, you know, sleeve. So there's that one. Um, there's this one. But guaranteed to be working uncharted a collection can we start this at 30 are most of them ps4 so far yeah okay ps4 destiny 2 space hulk tactics Dead Island. This one. This one is sealed. It's got the seal on it. I don't know if GameStop put the seal on it or what, but it's the Division 2. Indrian wants to know if you were able to fill her order, Donna. Battlefield. Who is it? Dindrian. Ginger Ann. Donna, were you able to fill mine? Oh, I I I have more. Ginger Ann. No, I haven't. I wasn't able to. I haven't it filled yours yet, but I have more in the garage. Um Skylanders. Is Nancy bidding? She just got a hundred of these. Yeah. DJ Hero. Not that not it, that it upsets me, Nancy. Nancy, you need to look through your box because I only just found out recently, and you did get a lot of football ones. There's one very specific game. Does anybody know the name of it? You game resellers, um, that's like trending now like crazy, and I don't know if you put it. She needs more casual flipper with the comments. Um, you guys, what's the name? Help her out because she just got a hundred games. Um, 
NCAA 2004. Nancy, write that down. NCAA football 14. You need to write that down because you may have gotten that in your box. I did not look through the games. I just piled 100 in your box and, and sent it out. So this one here just made me, um, made me think of it. There's that one. Here's another Dead Island. Um, this one is Battlefront. Star Wars, you guys. Star Wars. PlayStation 4, Star Wars. Um, another Dead Island, PlayStation 3. Um, An Anthem. Anthem. Um, Battlefield Hardline, PlayStation 4. And I do have more video games coming. And then these three are... I have another case full in the garage. I'll try to go get it when T shows. This one is Disney Infinity, and you've got one, two, three of them for PlayStation 3. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's my box. Benjamin from Nancy. I'm looking everywhere for this. I had to order new labels, and I wanted to make sure I ordered the right labels for my printer, and I couldn't tell there was so, and I was reading the reviews on Amazon. There was so many like weird reviews. I couldn't find the actual like number for the one that I had. Oh, it's been sitting. It was uh, it, the games were on top of it. It's been sitting here on my desk. The games were all on top of it. That's why I couldn't find it because these games have been sitting here for over a week. Okay, lot number six is games. Nancy, that might be difficult. Just just saying, Monday is a postal holiday. Monday is a postal holiday. So the only thing I can do is go look and see if the postman, T, if you come on right now, I'll wrap these up right now and send them in today's mail. It's the only way. If my postman, 6 o'clock, sometimes they have replacements. T, put yourself on. Let me see if my mail came. All right, we didn't call it to her yet, though, but we're going to. All right, let me see if my mail came yet. Yeah, everyone just remember the post office is closed on Monday. So tomorrow's the 14th, the 15th Monday. That means they won't be mailed till the 16th. Still here. Still here. My mail is still here. Is okay. she going to win? Or Jenny going to win? Who's going to win? Oh, my son does not care. Oh, well, what are you making me run outside for? Well, she says I want these for my son's birthday on the 18th. I know. I was going to um take your time. Okay. <laughs> I just like, I, I would do that for any one of you guys. Just know that I would, I would do that. Um, Jenny, there we go. Jenny's out. Jenny's out. I would do it for anybody. Moni love. <laughs> but see, that's where we run into problems. Cause then if you do it for anybody, you don't, always necessarily get your invoice paid, right? Um, when you rush it like that and try well, to get I'm, something out in the mail. I know, but I, well, I know Nancy, I, I know if I invoice Nancy right now, if she wants these to go in the mail, Nancy, it's up to you. I'll put tea on and I'll ship these out to you today, but you have to decide like right now, because I'm sure the post person's going to be here any minute. Tea, put yourself on. Yeah, all right, honey. Okay, I'm going to go put them in the mail right now. Okay. I'm going to put them in a box and wrap them up and get them out there. To the she mail. said, I love you for it, but you don't have to do it. Okay. I'm going to do some cards. I don't know. I kind of mix them up. It's just a little bit of, there's a couple of football, football, basketball, football, basketball, and hockey on these. These are all in sleeves or big, thick um, things. That's what's here. There's some sign ones. I'm not up on some of these players. So you guys will have to help me um, if, if there's even any value here. I don't know. What's um, our start on these? 
I don't know. We'll start twenty five. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars is fine. Um, this is Kelly Miller. Kelly Miller. If we need a loop, you'll let me know if we need a loop. Claude Lapointe. Owen Nolan. The camera's working really nice today. You're getting a really good picture oh, good. of that. Oh, good, good. Matt Naslin. Oh, thanks, Michael. Jeff Reese. Dang See, it. that's why I say you've got to refresh and put on live chat all the time. This is another one of these cards. Okay, the scratch it, scratch and sniff card. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scratch and sniff card. So somebody said that to find out who the player is, but if you look up Islanders number 28, I'm, I'm sure you can see who the right wing was, but Again, there. He's five ten, weighs a hundred. That's small, five ten and one hundred and seventy five pounds to me. An exceptional passer, stick handler, and scorer who played five seasons with the Swedish division. Oh, I guess this was his rookie season with the Islanders. This one is Pat Fallon. It says French on it. I don't know why. A world junior champion. Hmm. Maybe it's, could it possibly be like a junior league or something? I'm not very up on hockey, guys. Way back when, when I was younger, my uncle took me to a lot of Ranger games. He was a big Ranger fan. But I haven't followed hockey in years. All right. The re this is the basketball. This is called Vital Signs. This is James Posey. It is signed. Oh, thank you, Michael. It was two versions of that season. Got it. Magic Johnson. See if we can get the year. Skybox 92. Owen Nolan once went bowling, had a few without knowing Carla. <laughs> Magic on Jordan. Ninety two Skybox Patrick Ewing This is football, this is a sign, Steve Stenstrom. Sixty two sixty nine of seventy seven fifty. A rookie. Nineteen ninety Pro Bowl, Reggie Roby. Seth Joyner. Troy Aikman, Sorry. 
All done, Nancy. Hey, George. Nineteen eighty nine tops on that one. I guess that's his rookie card. Somebody know? I don't know. And breath farb. Yeah, well, the actual office closes, Carla, here, too. But, um, oh, God, now I'm really unfocused. If there's any ones you want to see again, let me know. Um, the post office does close early on Saturdays, but the guys still work. My post office still delivers. God. Sorry, I'm trying to see if I can get on fo I'm back focused. <laughs> Doesn't want to work. All right. Yeah, so I'm a little rough. May I see Montana again? Did I have Montana in here? I don't remember saying I had Montana in here. I didn't have Montana. You're welcome, George. Cindy, I didn't have Montana in here, honey. Football, I had um, Steve Stentrum, which was signed, which was his rookie and numbered. I had Reggie Roby from the Pro Bowl. I had Seth Joyner, Troy Aikman, and Brett Favre. That was the football. Can I show the farm? Of course. Can show it better than I can show myself at this point. <laughs> That's a 91 upper deck. I know, Janine, right? 1991 upper deck on that one. The blur has taken over. It's getting too used to me showing right like this, right? All right. 32 from Flippin' Hot Finds. All right. So again, we'll run we'll run through them all really quick. One more time. We've got the sign Steve Stenstrom, the 90 Pro Bowl with Reggie Roby, the Seth Joyner, the Troy Aikman, the Brett Farb basketball. We have Patrick Ewing, Magic on Jordan, Magic again, and signed James Posey, and then the hockey, we have the signed Kelly Miller, The Claude Laplante, Laplant. Owen Nolan, that's Nasland, the Jeff Reese. The Mystery Islander, Scratch and Sniff Puck. 
<laughs> and the French Pat <laughs> Oh no. And the French. All right. Larry's in for 40. Thank you, Larry. So you're all blurry. I know. 42 from Saxton. They don't care about me anyway. They only want to see the cards. Has any driver updates? I will do that. Talbert's mom. Thank you. Oh, okay. All right, Larry's going to be out. We're going to call it to Saxton at 42. I lost my pen again. I got to like tape a pen to my forehead, I swear. This is six for me, Mama G. Thank you, Larry. Haha, <laughs> Nancy. Um, I do drive a Ford F one fifty when I need to, but. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Oh, Saxton. That was Saxton. Thank you, Saxton. Um, but ha ha. <laughs> All right. Appreciate that. Thank you. All righty then. Oh, Donna, Broken Arrow, Amber's in the chat to you, for you to talk to her about the scarves. Cool. Broken Arrow Amber. Oh, okay. Amber's here. Amber, Amber. All right, we're going to do some CDs. I'm going to make it a big lot of CDs. Big lot of CDs. All right. The Beatles, Past Masters, Volume 1. Not there. I'm glad I looked because I haven't checked these, so we'll check them together. Um, Mop, War, Warriors. That one's there. I'm going to actually stick them behind me. It'll be easier. Screwball, Y2K, the album. A lot of these are parental advisory, just FYI. Oh, oh, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. The block. This one is sealed. Fat Joe. Inspect a deck. This one's sealed too, but the case is cracked. Ildelphia Half Life. The Roots. It is sealed, but if you guys can see right through the seal, there is a crack there. 
This one is sealed too. Fat Joe. Trick Daddy. Book of Thugs. A lot of wrap in here. Brand Nubbin Foundation. Hey, Josh. It's just Siggy. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. <laughs> but they're good to list. <laughs> Ride or Die, Volume 2. Casual Flippers in for 27. Spin Doctor. So now we get a little more, uh, <laughs> we get a little more normal. <laughs> Super Tramp. Oh, okay. Perry Farrell. Jane's Addiction and Porno for Pyros. New tracks by Perry. Oh, this must be a promotional. This is. It's a promotional. If you guys can see it, it says for promotional use only. It's in there, though. C L U M N B N G. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a disc. That is a disc. It's clear, but that is a disc. The case is cracked, though, just FYI. Bullworth, the soundtrack. Nineteen eighty three Billboard Top Dance Hits. That's everything Donna liked. Everything Donna liked. There it is, Donna. Staying alive, staying alive. Ah, 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 staying alive. She works hard for your money, Miss Summers. Keep so me holy nation. <laughs> Oh my god, you have to see this title. You have to what see this that? title. What is that? <laughs> Get getting tight with Donna. <laughs> the Donna. Yeah. That's gonna give me a bad reputation around YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. Does anybody know? That's so funny. <laughs> I haven't even heard of that band. I know. The Almond Brothers. Oops. Oopsie. It's here. <laughs> you lost it, but it is here. <laughs> Beastie Boys. Hello, Nasty. Pearl Jam. Aerosmith, pink. Make sure it's in there. It is. It's in there. It's there. It's there. Natalie Merchant, Ophelia. Ophelia? Ophelia. It's in there. It's there. I have a funny story about Ophelia. I feel it. <laughs> I feel Ophelia. <laughs> More pure eighties. Not in there. Not in there. Save Ferris. Jay Z. Little Cool J. I'm gonna lose a little cool Jane. 
this one is broken just fyi not the cd the, the case if you guys can see the wheel is missing a few a few notches beastie boys check your head 132 people thanks everybody thank you guys, thank you guys. hootie hootie and the blowfish don't forget to go over and do a thumbs up if you haven't already oh you're welcome april honey Redmond. Buckshot. The Mad Rapper. Don't forget the one person on Twitch. <laughs> right, Striker? Generation EFX, Generation of X. Jada Kiss, Kiss of Death. And then I'll count them for you. Puff Daddy. Is that the same as Mad Crapper? I have no idea, Ronnie G. <laughs> Not I. Invasion Part Two: Conspiracy Theory. The Evil Genius. DJ Green Lantern. I don't know. DJ Clue, aka William M. Halla. I don't know if the, there's one side of the paper missing, but that's that. Hick, Hick Geronimo Vendetta. And the last one is Dane Cook, Rough Around the Edges. Oh, this, this is not even a, this is um, probably a comedy DVD. Just FYI. But that's what you get. That's what you get. I'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and 37. So it's 37 in total here. And you definitely have some some very sellable CDs here. Um, five of them, which I believe are sealed and some good wrap and rock. All right. And Jenny's out. Let's call it to Josh. I think Josh is going to get it. Thank you, Josh. All right. Thank you, honey. All right. I'm going to do this really quick um, lot. We're going to start it at 10 bucks. They're music DVDs. The first one is sealed and it's eight days a week. The tour, the Beatles. It is two discs, special edition. You'll get that. $10 ship to start. One Direction, this is us. One Direction, the only way is up. Justin Bieber. 
Michael Jackson, Life of a Superstar, Michael Jackson, Number Ones, and Michael Jackson, The Short Films. That's what you get. $10 ship to start on those. T. Yes, honey. Da, um, Nancy Newell is asking, is Donna's account auctions by Donna? Yes. Oh, no. Her PayPal? I'm not sure what she's asking me. Mm. Like, huh. isn't Donna going to invoice her? Yes. Yes, I invoiced her. Because then otherwise I, I would have forgotten. What is she asking me then? She does invoice from two different um, PayPal accounts. So always pay the invoice, guys. Always pay the invoice I that you receive. Yeah, you guys, I they're both my accounts, but I invoice out of two different accounts. And I'll tell you why. Um, because it might help some of you. Um, here, let me go to my stream yard because I'm not on it. The reason why I'm sorry to interrupt a lot, T. That's okay. The reason why I have two accounts is because they're both business accounts. And for those of you that don't know about working capital, working capital gives me the ability to make investments that I normally wouldn't be able to make. So it's not based on your credit. It's based on, not that there's anything wrong with my credit, but it's not based on your credit. It's based on your sales with PayPal. And anybody who has a business PayPal account can qualify depending on your sales for working capital. And I take like, I just told T about it. T, T didn't know about it ever. So you have to have a, a business account. And if it asks for your O4 number, you can put your social security number if you don't have a corporation um, just so that you know that. And um, yeah, June bug. I just told June bug about it too. It takes time. Um, it, it, I don't remember. Um, for, well, with me, I've been a business account for forever and ever. So I don't remember. It has to be a certain amount of sales over a certain amount of months. Right, T? Do you remember? I'm not really 100% sure. You have to look into it. You'd have to go yeah. into and, and the and problem with a lot of you now is PayPal is not taking your eBay money. eBay is. So you're not showing any deposits going into your PayPal account if you're on managed payments. Yeah. Um, she said there's no button to push on the invoice to pay it. Really? I'll send you, I'll send it to your, um, I'll send you a, a copy of it to your email, Nancy. Don't worry about it, honey. Don't stress about it. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, so that's why I work. So then you can choose. You can choose with um, with your. Mine usually comes from Donna at the Give. Yeah, the Give was my original because that was the name of my thrift store. Was called the Give. Sorry, T, for interrupting no, that's you. All right. Um, they're still bidding though. I know. So. Um, so yeah, so um, it's different for each different account. Yeah, Ed. So I I sometimes have two working capital loans out there, depending on if I'm buying like big pallets of stuff and I need like lots of money in a, in a rush. So um, yeah, so that's why I have two accounts because I work with two accounts. But it's it's me. They're both me. Auctions by Donna and the Give. Yep, the Give is my original original one. From when I had my thrift store. It was called The Give. My girlfriend gave me that name. Because she said I was giving. And she needed, she wanted me, She, my girlfriend Trish. Nancy's she like, found it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nancy. Yeah. So don't be shocked if you see, if you see, I, I, I'll do one account one day and then another account the other day and then another account. Thank you, Nancy. I just got it, sweetheart. Another account the other day. So I ping pong back and forth with my two, my two accounts. So it's nothing weird or sneaky or anything. I just have two legit business accounts. That's it. I just wanted to share that with you in case you guys, 30 days, usually if you have had an account with them, yeah, but like T said, it's going to be hard now because you have to show revenue, 90 days of consistent revenue. Um, 
Like, I'm going to give you an example. Listen to this. This is an example. Sorry, T, for interrupting you. You can put them down. I've sold them. Okay. <laughs> okay. So when COVID started and T, okay, so T and I used to go on um, T, twice a week maybe we would go on, like once on your channel, once on my channel. I mean, I'm talking yeah, a lot. Not a lot, not a lot. We used to go on like once, twi twice, let's say twice a week, once on hers and once on mine. And then all of a sudden... I bought a whole bunch of stuff and I'm like, gee, I got to move my stuff. So let's go on like every day or every three days or whatever it was. So my sales, because I was only going on like, like once a week and I was having still a few eBay sales, but not a lot. My sales skyrocketed and I went to, do you remember this story T? And I went to go and apply for a working capital loan because I wanted to buy a big pallet of something and I got denied. And I'm like, denied. I've, I'm like, why would I get denied? I've, I've taken out so many working capital loans to, to help my business. Like, why are you denying, denying me? And they said, because of the spike in sales. I'm like, what? I'm like, are you kidding? Remember T, I was so upset about that. I'm like, I'm like, I can't, I can't believe that because my sales are up, you won't give me a loan. It should be a good thing, but it's not an actual person, like, like an actual person pushing buttons. There's no one, like there's representatives to talk to at working capital, but there's not a person that says, Oh, look at this. Dawn is doing really good. She's having a lot of sales this month. She qualifies for a loan. It's all by computer. Yeah, it's all an algorithm. It's, it's all, all an algorithm. So you have to have consistent sales. So if you have, if you're, it, you have to press the 90 days on your, on your PayPal account. If you go to activity and once you're in activity, you have the option of seeing like seven days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Richard says, I love your stories. <laughs> Am I talking too much? Is he being mean? Not mean, but is he being, okay. yeah. It, yeah. The algorithm. Yeah. So so the the 90 day graph needs to be consistent so if they so like for example if you have a working capital loan and you decide to pay it off say for example your working capital loan has got like five thousand dollars on it and you want to qualify for another working capital loan and you go in and you pay off the five thousand dollars on your existing loan that throws the graph way way up that a five thousand dollar payment came in and you will not qualify for another working capital loan. Need to make 5K annually for a business account for PayPal. Thank you, Saxton. She looked it up. Then they can offer you working capital. Thank you, Saxton. So be very, very careful because I've also made that mistake before. Like I had a $20,000 working capital loan and I wanted to spend $8,000 on something. So I went to pay off my working capital loan, which was like $4,000. So it threw the graph way up that $4,000 came in and I needed to wait until the graph was like right where my sales are every single day. So be very, very careful with that. If you do take a working capital loan, we should do a whole show on working capital yeah. loans because I have a lot of experience with working capital loans. If anyone has any question, like I didn't know, like Saxton looked up 15, thousand annually for a business account. Like I didn't know those specifics. I'd have to look it up. Yeah. We got one last year. And then it depends on, um, Hey, judgmental care, Steve. Hey. Hi, sweetheart. Thanks for coming in. Then depending on, um, how soon you select it to pay it off, you can do pay off 10% of each sale, uh, 15% of each sale. No, 10, I'm sorry, 10, 20, or 30%, 30%. So $30 on every $100 that comes in goes to pay off your loan. And they take it automatically. You don't have to make a payment. It right. automatically gets taken out of your sale. So when when someone pays me $100, I don't see $30 of it. It goes right into the working capital. And um, it hurts. It does hurt. But then you got to look at it this way. Like those five storage units I bought, I would have never been able to buy them hadn't it been for a working capital loan. It's the first one I've ever taken. Yeah, she was and scared. 
She was scared taking it. She's yeah, like, I'm not like touching it. I'm not so touching it. Credit. I'm, I'm so like, credit. I'm like, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. I use it. I use, hey, James Cisco. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, James. I use, I run my entire business on working capital loans. Um, I have, I have for years. Um, a lot of businesses use working capital. You need, you need to spend money to make money. Bottom line. I mean, if you can't spend money, you can't make money. So, um, yeah. So working capital loans, you guys, uh, they could be, do you get a lower interest rate with WCL versus others? So, so basically what I started to say, so if you choose 10%, the, the loan interest rate is a lot um, higher, higher, higher. Thank you. Is a lot higher. If you choose to only pay back 10% at a time and say, for example, you pay, say, for example, you borrow $5,000, the interest that they, they charge you. T, do you remember what the interest rate was? Was it like, I, I don't, I took the 30% option. I, you know, because again, I hate credit. I hate interest. I'm, I'm like that person. Yeah. But, but I took the 30% because it was I the lowest, it was the lowest possible pay interest, interest payment. So I mean, it's 17, it might be, it's high. You guys, yeah, it's, it's, not high. Cheap. it's like, no, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. It's not yeah. cheap at all. But you, when you apply for it and you qualify for it, the money's in the bank in how many seconds? Oh, immediately. Yeah. It, immediate, like when I tell you it's in the bank account in like literally like three seconds, it's like three seconds. So even if uh, James, but now I have enough set aside for inventory. And when I find something, I set aside 20% of every sale into a separate account to finance my own. That's my goal. That's alone. my goal, James. James, yeah. you're very, very smart. You know, a lot of us can't do that, but that's very, yes, we do it too. That's awesome. I, I'm not at that point, to be honest with you guys, I'm not at that point. I can't do that. Um, you yeah, know, it automatically we, comes out. So you don't have to worry about any late fees or whatever, you know, it's just, it hurt. It does hurt because, you know, even like, you know, what was my last lot? I sold $20. I mean, it sounds silly, right? So when I bill Jenny for $20, besides the whatever PayPal fee that's involved that they normally get, then it's another $6 on top of that. So at the end of the yeah. day, you know, you're really only getting 1280 or whatever it might be. So it does, it does hurt a little bit. It does. But yeah. again, I would never have been able to buy those five collectible storage units and bring you guys all this awesome stuff. Hadn't I, you know, took, I, and I didn't take it all. I didn't, you know, I, that was the other thing. I was definitely funding most of it myself, but I did have so, to. Question with that, then you just said the lot you made was how much you were going to get out of it. My, I don't know. I have to figure out what the PayPal fee is on $20. Yeah. It's what? Dollar. Yeah. So 19 plus they're going to take uh 30%, which is another $6. So they're going to take $7 out of 20, 20. And then, so that's 13 and then you have to ship. Yeah. Correct. But, but, um, she may be able to do combined shipping with that. So she, yeah. 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 Jenny. Yeah. Of course I can. It's Jenny. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was just wondering, cause it's like just different. I don't know the side of it. Yeah. Um, it does not affect your credit either. Big plus. No, it doesn't. Yeah. It does not. Which, which to me, it's a, um, it's a big minus, not a big plus Saxton, because I wish that the working capital loan did affect my credit because um, I have an excellent, I have an excellent um, score reputation with paying back my working capital loans. It's hard not to, unless you don't have the money in your PayPal account. If you're not, if you're not making the sales. So like, like T was saying, now it's going to be a little bit difficult because you're going to have to manually make your payments because PayPal is not using, um, eBay is not using PayPal anymore. So you're going to have to go in and do manual payments. Well, for me, it doesn't matter because everybody pays me on auction through here. No, no, no. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking right. about people. I'm talking about people that don't do auctions or don't have, you know, money coming so in. They even qualify. That's my question, right? Because technically their money isn't being deposited into PayPal anymore. When you're on managed payments, your money goes right to your bank account. I don't think PayPal is an option to get your eBay money deposited into. I don't think it's an option. 
they wanted to cut all ties with with PayPal. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know how that's going to work for people that um, don't have. Um, no, eBay has a new loan option. Oh, they have something similar, probably. Yeah, oh, do they? they? With PayPal now, of course. Yeah. Um, there was something else I was going to mention. Oh, Marissa. Money. Hey, Marissa. Marissa said PayPal told her that you can't do working capital anymore if you're on managed payments. <laughs> Interesting. Not anymore. It has to be a bank. Yeah, so they're no. going to come up with their own, like James says. They're going to have their own. So now, um, do payment? Can you pick PayPal as an option through Macari? I don't sell on Macari. Through Macari and through all the other sites, can you pick PayPal for your money to go into PayPal? No, Macari is a whole Poshmark. A Poshmark it just goes into my wallet, and then I request a payout. Into your bank. Yeah. Yeah, it all goes directly to your bank. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, definitely not Macari or Poshmark for sure. I don't know about any of the other platforms if they will deposit into PayPal. Yeah, it's all bank, right, Saxton? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm sure that eBay is going to have the same... A logistical uh, algorithm program for loans as well. And, and, and to James's point, I know I've seen something advertised out there to get, it's probably not called working capital. It's probably called business plus loan or something. They have to name it something different, but I'm sure it's, it's something. The business loan, I'm, I haven't looked into it on PayPal, but I think the business loan is probably more structured and that's probably um, more like you got, got to provide your, your business tax returns and things like that to get an actual business loan as opposed eBay seller capital. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Saxton. All right. Go ahead. All right. Ahead. Um, okay. Uh, we, we sold that last one, right? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, let's do this one. I don't know if anybody is interested, but I have some train magazines. Anybody wants some train books? This is July 1947 model railroader. July 1953 model railroader, August 1967 model railroader. Oopsie, don't fall on me. July 2002, August 2002, December 1998, November 1998. January 1999, October 2004, December 2004, August 2004, and I lost my chat. Oh, gosh, Nancy. What? Really? Discogs uses PayPal for sellers. Yeah, I've sold a few things over there. Not much. Um, November 2004. September 2004. And I think I had a few more. And I had up on the side over here. This is Railroad Model Craftsman, April 1950. Railroad Model Craftsman. This one is May 1950. The cover is detached. All right, T, I have to interrupt the auction. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of important. Okay. Okay. 
So I need to know, I need to know everybody's opinion. Sorry, just hold your thought for one minute. Something very, very important happened. Okay. Do you remember Andrea Baker got that Trafari crown brooch from me and she got an offer right away for $275 when she, um, when she um, listed it and she sold it like same night. Do you guys remember that? For those of right. you, for those of you that, that don't know, I was doing one-offs and Donna interrupts the auction. I was doing one-offs and I sold a brooch, a pin to one of our Andrea Baker, one of our good friends and, and fellow YouTuber and buyer. I think she paid $12 for me. She, I started bidding at five and she paid 12 and she got it. And she was like, Oh my God, this is a Trafari crown pin. She listed it. She immediately got an offer for, for, um, $12. So I was telling Janea about it. Janea is a really good friend of mine who lives in the next town over and she loves to go thrifting. And so I said to her, I said, Janea, when you're out thrifting, look and see if you can find a Trafari brooch. It has to have a crown on it. Andrea educated us on it, on this Trafari brooch. I said, so see if you can find one. So lo and behold, put me on, on screen. Lo and behold, this is what I was going to share with you guys. I was going to try to get it from her, but she just listed it. She found that crab. I found a, she said unicorn. It's not a unicorn. It's a crab. A Trafari crowned crab brooch by Alfred Alfred Felipe gold plated from 1940s is what she is what she found. It's okay. not a roach, Richard. <laughs> so she looked it up and this is what she found. Rare, sold for $700. Do you see it? That's wow. what she found, sold for $700. Oh, Shelly says they call it a unicorn because it's rare. That's what that phrase oh, means. Oh, okay. So she was texting me while I was talking to her and she just said, wow, she just got an offer of right, right. 634 right there. She was texting me, just got an offer for a thousand dollars. And then she said, I did a seven day auction and she said I, three more offers, one for a thousand, one for 700 and one for 300. So she's watching. And she said, what do you think I should do? Do you think that I should take the thousand dollar offer? She looked at the person's eBay store and they're just buyers. They're not sellers. They're not resellers. They have thousands of things. So I said, let it ride out. And she said, well, if I get an offer on it and I don't get as much as a thousand dollars, I say take the thousand and run. She said, I think I want to take the thousand. And I said, let me ask everybody what they think. And she's like, can you ask them what, to ask them right now? And I said, I, I said, I can't tea show and I don't want to interrupt her. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to interrupt the Janae, show. Take the money and run. Take, take, take the money, money take the now. Money. Take the money now. Yes. Isn't that awesome? So Janae, are you on? She said she was coming on. Is she on? Did she say hi yet? Janae, take the money. Take the 1K. She, she hasn't logged on. Take it, take it, take it. Everybody's saying take it. How awesome is that, you guys? So we have Andrea Baker to thank for that because she's the one who educated us on that. So thank you so much, Andrea. Thank you. Take it. The there she is. I just took the offer. Yay! Janaya, let us know if the money and the person even sent her a message and said, if you accept my thousand dollar offer, I will pay right away. Janaya, let us know when that thousand dollars hits your account. And thank you so and much. Don't Andrea forget Baker. to insure it, Janaya. That's a little thing that can get lost for sure. <laughs> I know. Isn't that awesome, you guys? She D Scott's like, hurry, 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 hurry. Isn't that awesome? Hopefully they'll pay right away. Yeah, make sure you insure it. Okay, good. 
Good. She says I, I always make sure everything. Janetta oh, does sell some, you know, she does know her purses and her, her pocketbook. She's really good with high end stuff. So I've she, been trying to get her to come on the show with me. I she's know. Really, really shy for over a year. I'm like, Janaya, because she's got such a beautiful coat. She's got really, really nice taste. She's got such a beautiful collection of rare, she collects rare Louis Vuitton pocketbooks. So I, I said to her, I said, you can sit right next to me, right here. I said, you don't even have to do it through stream. Yard. And yeah, just John says to make the buyer sign for it as well. Yes. Yep. Absolutely, Janaya, do that. Yeah, so the signature I'll, is nothing. It's like an extra two dollars. So worth it. Yeah. So hopefully I'll be able to convince her um to come on one day and really educate you guys on the difference between pocketbooks. She helped T. She helped T identify some pocketbooks too. Yeah. So, oh, and I got an authentic Cartier watch the same day. It was checked today and two Gucci watches. It was a huge score. Awesome, Janelle. Wow, so yeah. awesome. Good it for you. It was this junky, junky neighborhood. I actually did a video on this thrift shop that she found this, this stuff at. This junky, junky, it's called um, neighborhood, neighborhood, thrift or something like that i don't even know what it, i think because she probably has it set to or best offer they're asking how she can have it if it's on auction how can she have it for an offer how can oh, yeah. Get oh, offer? oh yeah you can set it on or best offer when you do an auction item um amber's asking how do you get insurance on a package that the post office will recognize you just you click one of the buttons and it's somewhere in the barcode like if they automatically insure for a hundred dollars on priority so you can if you need another hundred dollars you just pay for a hundred do not pay for 200 you pay for additional insurance and put the yeah. signature required no 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 well what i do is i click the box and then it says value like right how much the pictures that I sent out to all everybody that bought all those beautiful, um, you know, six hundred and fifty dollars for, you know, the pictures. I put the value, um, six hundred and fifty dollars, and they charge you a little bit extra for the insurance, not that much. I did no. the same thing for the Pokemon cards that I sent out because I just feel like if somebody's going to pay that kind of money, I need to add the extra insurance. Right. Yep. Okay, Jenea, congratulations, and. Uh, it's it's okay. She said sorry for interrupting the auction. No, it's exciting, Janaya. I mean, I, I it's 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 part of like the excitement of it all. So thank you so much for sharing it with us. Excuse me. I think I speak with I speak for everyone except for maybe a few people. <laughs> but I want to say thank you so much for sharing your wonderful news. So no, okay, that's, awesome. that's Go really ahead, good. Go ahead. Really good. All right. Again, model railroader. Here they are. Did we have a bid? If did we have a bid in the chat? I don't know, Mama G. Did I see a bid come in or no? There's a few extra things in here. I just threw in here as well. Um, some Lionel books some other train stuff that i had i i I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bring a bunch of train ephemera as well at some point i have so much but i just been things in here i'm sorry judd was at 20. okay let's call it to steve let's call it to steve 20 dollars Ed is drunk. Why is Ed drunk? I told we were still on scarves. <laughs> Uh-oh, KJ came in. KJ's at 22. Flippin' Hot Finds is in at 24. I got an offer for $12 for a used pair of dirty socks. Should I take it? Christopher! <laughs> Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. Let's throw another little stack of train stuff in here. Um, look out for the third rail. There's a lot of Lionel stuff here. 
Look Team, make yourself big again. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoopsie. I forgot. Look out for the third rail. Miniature electric cars. I don't know. This is just some little little booklets. Tiny book. Tiny booklets. It's like a price guide or something. I don't even know if some of this stuff, like they people look for all of this, but I'll throw it in here. He saved it for a reason. Someone saved this stuff for a reason. Now it looks like some. Oh, you guys can be surprised with some of this stuff. All right, so a bunch of magazines, some brochures. A bunch, a bunch of stuff. That's right, Ronnie G. Absolutely, Ronnie Jake. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. This one, the cover is separated, just FYI. It's there. The front and back covers are there. They're just separated. Same thing with this one. The older craftsmen, the 1950s are, are kind of like that. A bunch of 1950s. All right. Anyone else? We're going to call it. We got Steve in. Thank you, Steve. And then still got still got all of that. Why are they talking about palmetto bugs? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Your computer is making noises. So they're talking about that. It sounds like an alien predator. KJ is out. All right. We'll sell it to Steve. Thank you, Steve. Gretna, they were saying the noise was something else the other night. Yeah, I don't know. Donna, are you ready? Well, she's still on the phone with Jenea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I guess I guess I mean she's still on the phone with Janaya. I don't know. All right. I have some more ephemera type stuff here for you. And we're going to start it off with, actually, I pulled these three things too. There's two signs met photos here. One is Johnny Lewis. And the other one is Clem James. If I just put it ephemeral lot, you'll know which one I'm talking about. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Oh, actually, there's three. There's actually three. That is, I don't know who that is. Donnie Clendevin. T, you're not making it easy on me. Sorry. He's determined not to bid tonight. So I don't know if, if he actually does. Am I supposed to take his bid or not? So, you hey. know. Uh, we're all adults here. We're all adults yeah. here. So <laughs> this is a this is Casey Stengel, I think. I don't want to take it out. I'll never get it back in. <laughs> I'll never get it back in. All right, I'll work on getting that back in because I'm going to have to show it again. This is just a letter. Now, again, remember, guys, I told you this guy that I all this stuff came from, that was his name, Bill Steimers. Um, so this was a letter from somebody from the Cincinnati Reds about congratulations and kindness. I certainly have the gold club. You guys can read this. There'll, there'll be a couple of those in here. This is just a photo of God bless you. Willie Miranda of the Orioles. This is another letter to him. This woman, whoever sent this letter, I think she worked for the Yankees. I'm not 100% sure, but I know she was definitely. There's a couple of ticket stubs in here. There's a couple of raffle stubs. Some kind of Nick um, schedule from 1987. Everybody knows who Mr. Coffee Joe DiMaggio is, right? It is a photograph. It is on there it has some sort of stamp up in the corner a bunch of more tickets some look unused i'm throwing in i know this isn't really ephemera but i'm throwing in these maybe you guys can resell them i have a bunch of these wristlets this is for the pittsburgh pirates i'm throwing in this super squad this is all the superstars of sports, Mike Piazza, Derek Cheetah, Jason Giambi, Sambi Sosa, Alex Rodriguez, Ichiro, Barry Bonds. It's a comic book. I don't know who this is a photo of, but I'm sure it has something to do with sports. It was with it was with him. Here's another ticket stub. And then there's some um, books here. The Knicks. Oh, here's one of his media passes from Fordham, Fordham, Fordham University. You guys will have to do some research on him and let me know. Um, a Yankees, a Yankee schedule. Um, here's a 1975 Los Angeles Angels guide. Here's the Cosmos Media Guide Soccer. Milwaukee Brewers 1973 guide. Um, intercollegiate and professional football from 1949 on this, guys. 1949. I don't know. Not bad condition for 1949. Obviously, you've got definitely have, you know, spine chipping and things like that going on there. Were you calling um, me? I was. <laughs> Detroit Tigers, 75, 75th season. Milwaukee Brewers, 1974 media guide. Houston Astros, 1978 Media Guide. This is a very thick book. I should probably make sure I don't put too much weight in here. I do it all the time. St. Louis Cardinals All-Stars. Pitt, Basketball Media Guide. Knicks versus the Boston Celtics. Collegiate Men's Basketball Media Guide. New York Rangers and 
Street and Smith's. Guys, please check these books for autographs. I was told that you may find some. I have not looked through them. I don't have the time. I'm passing the deals on to you guys. This is why I bought it, to bring you guys the good stuff. So that's what you get in that lot. Again, the stamp, which I will get back in the envelope. I will, I will make sure I get that back in the envelope. And all the books. True. It might be. A absolutely. Yeah. 30 from Carl. Hey, Paul. Hey, Pam. 33 from Adam. Pam's in at 35. 40 from Vintage Treasures. Fifty from Carl. I have some more stamps I can bring too. Maybe not tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. I'll put some stamps together. I have um, I have a bunch of Elvis stamps. I might throw some Elvis stuff together. If you guys are interested. And again, I'm gonna bring um, definitely have more comics. And some baseball sign sign cards, tons of ephemera. Hey, Ronald Johnson. Cincinnati figures should be bidding on this lot, right? There's a lot of Cincinnati stuff in here. Flippin' Hot finds in at 75 now. All right. We're back in. Ronald's in at 80. How are you doing tonight, Ronald? Thank you for coming in. All right. I'm going to I'm going to put one more thing in this slot. I know nothing about the value. If I'm giving it away, you guys will tell me, but I'm going to throw one more thing in here. What is a it's a stamp? I don't I don't know anything. I don't know a lot about stamps. It's babe. What's it say on it? St. Vincent's. Let me um I'm not taking it out for sure. I just let me see if I can elect it to the Hall of Fame. Babe Ruth. It says two dollars on it, so I don't know. I, I didn't know they made two dollar stamps. Use the loop. Use Donald the loop. loop. Yeah. Donald. Donna loop, Donna loop, loop. Hey, Justin. Justin Jacobs. Justin Jacobs. What's going on, buddy? Did you did you build your new house yet? They make all kinds of stamps. Too much stuff in frame. I don't know. I guess I. You guys would have to look it up. I don't know. I, I, I found it today. I was going to look it up, and then I said, no. 1989 St. Vincent's Rookie Stamps, Babe Ruth. Dawn. <laughs> Dawn. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> I 
All right, so that's in the lot now too. That's in the lot with the other stamp from 1998 of, um, who was that? That was, I don't even remember who it was now. It's been so long. Oh, Casey Stengel. It's not want to cooperate in this thing. All right, that's the lot, guys. That's the lot. I know it's just you know what we want to be fair to everybody <laughs> oh they haven't even started yet justin wow oh wow right, just hope the 90 for ronald johnson thank you ronald Thank you. All right, Donna, I'm putting you on. All right. We're trying to untangle a mess here. All right, I'm going to, this is, um, this is a uncurated bag of religious items. Um, Did Janae get her money? Um, she hasn't texted me yet. Okay, so, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. So there's a whole bunch. This is this is a really big lot. I was gonna do a video on this. Um, so there's okay. I'm just gonna show you what's in this bag, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm just gonna throw things um, back in it that I was able. I mean, look at a cute little angel that is. Okay, so this is how the bag was found. This is all. It's just a big tangled mess of religious items. I had this the other night I was going to show. Um, so, so there's that. Um, excuse me one second, Donna. Ronald, I know it's your first win here. And by the way, congratulations. I will send you an invoice. Please pay the invoice. Do not send the money without paying the invoice. All right, honey. And, and it won't be tonight. It'll probably be first thing in the morning. That's why we take registration here so we can invoice you guys. I mean, a lot of it is just tangled, but I mean, some of it is just absolutely beautiful. And like I said, none of this has been looked at through a loop to see if there's a silver or gold or anything like that. So let me just show you the bag. I probably should have put it in a jar so you guys could have seen it better. Let's see what this big gold thing is. I'm very curious. There's um, rosaries in here that matches my shirt. Let's see what this one is. You're welcome. No idea what that is. You see it? Some sort of religious. Anyways, so, so you get this bag that's um, just a big mass of... Um, this is look at how beautiful look at how beautiful this is i, I love that pretty. color oh my gosh this is so pretty i mean i don't know if i should be doing this as one-offs or if i should be doing this as a whole bag but what a great opportunity look at that one donna did you say a start on this honey um i think i'm gonna start this at 40. okay thank you This is like this is like tarnished, like it might be silver. I'm not saying it is because I haven't looked at it, but you see what I'm talking about? The oxidization on it. Okay. So anyway, so you get that, you get that big bag, and then here's a crucifix that I had pulled out of the bag. Here's another beautiful crucifix. I don't know if that opens. It looks like it might open. There's that one. There's this bracelet. This is just a few things I was pulling out while T was showing. This cross here is pretty awesome. These little balls spin. I don't know if those are some sort of stone, but you see how big it is? It's big. I don't and they all have let's look at the let's look at this through the Donna loop because this is beautiful. I don't know. It looks like maybe it was 
it looks like blown. glass marble, like hand blown glass marbles if it spins. Yeah, they move. Beautiful. See how they spin? Okay. So I'm going to put that in there. And this locket, it looks like it's Mother of Pearl. So this is a really big lot. This is definitely Mother of Pearl. Don't know if it's 10 carat or just costume. I have no idea. There is a whole bunch of keychain medallions in here. Here's another beautiful, like, purple crucifix rosary. Um, here's another blue one. Beautiful rosary, Murano glass, maybe. I don't know. Here's another light blue rosary. I think that this stuff would do really well on eBay. Here's a wooden one. You can maybe find out what kind of wood this is. That's a wooden one. Here is one made out of all. It looks like freshwater pearls with a cross. If Frenchie was here, she'd be in heaven. This one, I don't know. It's got, I don't know if that's just a design, but it came in this bag, so it's staying in that bag. And then here's a green one. Another crucifix. There's a lot of rosaries in here. There's a lot of rosaries. And then here's another beautiful blue rosary. That's going to go in there. And I think that's all of them. So there you have it. I'm going to go throw it in a glass jar so you guys can see it better. That'd be great. Let's see. Let's see if it fits in here. This is just a cup. I can kind of spin it around. No, it doesn't fit in here. There's lots of pins, too. Little cherub pins and... Excuse me, Donna. What does the tag say on the last blue one? Oh, my God. It's at the bottom of the jar now. Sorry, the chat asked. I know. Let me find let me find another jar that's oh here. Oh, this would work. Okay, let me put it in here. Okay, this will work. Shriker at 60. Okay, it all fit in there. Oh, except for these. Okay, so that's it. This is the whole jar full. Were you able to get the last blue one to see the tag on it for her? Of course it's at the bottom. I know. Hold on, I'm getting it. Oh, can't reach it. Okay, I got it. Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry. Watch the tag will fall off as I'm pulling it out. Hold on, it's tangled. That would be hilarious. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. This isn't the right one. Yeah, <laughs> it's the dark blue one. It's not the right one. Where's the dark blue one? All right, I see it. I see it. Just give me a minute. Holy right. cow. <laughs> Jeez. No, I don't see it. That's not the blue one. Was it dark blue? Yeah, like that really deep. <sighs> All right, I got to dump it into something. Magnesia blue or whatever you want to call it. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can dump it in here. All right, hold on. 
Okay. It's dumped in here. Okay. Got it. This one's beautiful too. Now you can really see what's in here. Oh, look at this bracelet. I'll show you this bracelet too. Okay, so this, this is the dark blue one that was in question. And it says on it... They're bidding, so keep showing them if you've okay, got something on. you didn't show. All right, let's see. It says, American needs a Fatina made in Italy. It says made in Italy. So are those like... Murano type blown glass beads. I don't know if it's made in Italy. It could be. It's definitely glass as I throw it into the bucket. But look at this one. Let's look at this one. Right? And it says, I'll tell you what it says on it. It says, first, I am the Lord, thy God, thy shall not have strange gods before me second thy shall not take the name of the lord thy god in name in vain vain third remember that thou keep holy the sabbath day fourth honor thy father and thy mother oh geez fifth thou shall not kill this is pretty awesome. Sixth, thou should not commit adultery. It's the Ten Commandments. Seventh, thou should not steal. Eighth, thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Ninth, thou shall not covet, convent, covet, covet. Covet. Covet the neighbor's wife. It's the Ten Commandments. And tenth, thou should not covet thy neighbor's goods. Like, pretty awesome. Yeah. That is pretty awesome. Don't you think? That's a very unique piece. I didn't look to see if it was silver. It doesn't feel like silver. But you never know. You guys will have to take a closer look at it. Okay, where's my jar? That goes in the jar. I'll just show you as I put them back into the jar. The beautiful blue ones. The green ones. This is how you know I have not curated it. <laughs> because they're a mess. And I don't untangle anything. The blue ones, the pink ones. Those are the ones that say made in Italy. A lot of them say made in Italy on them. Oh, this is a real pretty one. Let's look at this one. Hold on. This Okay, there's the heart and there's that awesome big cross. What is this? This one. Okay, here's the one that matches my shirt. And then there's a whole ton of like little medallions like this there's a whole bunch of them in here there's there's lots of them i mean i mean there's just too many to show this is a beautiful one the praying hands and then there's a whole ton of little angel pins too in here Okay, I'm going to pour these back into the thing. Richard Sanchez says, I bet the wood one is olive wood. And then Donna, or Jessica says, check the round one. It looks like a relic. I'm not checking. Okay. Got KK at 90. Okay, I'm going to throw it all back in, and then I'll show you what's in my hand, which is really beautiful. And then I'll show you the jar one more time. Um, 
This one's really beautiful too. It's got the Madonna on one side and then it spins around and it's got Jesus on the other. Isn't that so pretty? And then what is this one, you guys? Anybody know what that is? It says Rebecca, but I don't know exactly what it is. Is it a coin type or a it's pen? A pen. Is Wait. Rebecca, is, is it a saint or something? I have no idea. Is it someone's name? I have no idea. Okay, that's it. All religion. All religion. It's beautiful. Just in time to list for Easter. Okay, Kathy's out. We've got... It is legal to sell... It is legal to sell relics. I must have some, but can't sell them. And was told it is illegal to sell them as some part of piece of someone's dead body. Oh, she's a famous woman in the Bible. Is she, Rebecca? Oh, she was married to Abraham. My aunt had a spinner like that. It whirled all through mass. Ha ha ha. That's awesome. Patron saint. Oh, Rebecca was one of the honorable women of the Bible. I'm a bad Catholic. Sorry, guys. They are wood or cloth. Which one? Is Lost Treasures Return lagging? Sold. Sold, sold, sold for $100 for the awesome religious lot. For $100. All right, Lost Treasures. Congratulations. Happy treasure hunting. I hope you find some cool stuff in here. This was my lot number seven. Isaac's wife. Someone asked about selling relics because there are body parts. I was saying most are not. Ah, okay. Right, Edgefrida, you should be able to make there's a lot in here. You should be able to make some good money on this lot. This is an awesome lot. And, you know, religious stores are far and few between. So I think a lot of people would probably turn to, you know, eBay to try to find that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Donna Loop back in place. So I'm not looking for it. And my next lot, I showed this before and it didn't sell. And if it doesn't sell again, no hard feelings. It's a Donna lot. It came from my jewelry box. It is sterling. Um, it's a necklace and a bracelet. I never wear it ever, ever, ever. So I am going to sell it. And there it is. And... I guess I'll start. It's all silver. I don't know what the black is. I'm thinking it might be black onyx because it's cold. So um, I'm gonna sell this for. I'm gonna I'm gonna start this off at. Um, what do you think, Mama J? I don't know. It looks awfully heavy. It is. It's beautiful. Um. We'll start it at... Is it one piece, Donna? No, it's a necklace and a bracelet. Oh, okay. It's a set. It's a set. It's a set. KK's wants it... to start you off at 40. 40? Okay. Fifty-one from Steve. Thank you, Steve. Steve's like uh, Josh. Adam. Adam. <laughs> All these Bible names. <laughs> Adam yeah. and Josh. Yes, Ed. It's March 1995. 
first yes. testament names of course but can is there any kind of a maker's mark or anything other than the right there if you see it on the clasp it's 925 and then and the chain is also 925 it's not on a cord it's on a chain you see it inside there the whole thing is 925 the beads the clasp the whole thing is 925 thank you tammy i think it's beautiful and ask for a maker's mark i don't see a maker's mark I don't see a maker's mark anywhere on it. Yes, it's 925, Talbert's mom. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Anthony. I think it is too. They're talking about selling human stuff. People sell Kathy's Corners out. They, people sell like teeth and hair. They're talking about something totally different they're talking about religious relics and selling that type of stuff like you're not supposed to but if because of body tissue and stuff but if it's cloth and stuff like that it's not authenticated then you're there's no way to know if anything is a relic or not in my opinion so um betty are you serious with your question at how many beads <laughs> <laughs> Betty, please, honey. Do you really want me to count them? I mean, I will. Teed sold a man's brain. I did. Betty. Refresh my brain, Shelly. Adam comes in at 56. Betty says no. She'll thank you, Betty. I love you, honey. Thank you so much. That would have been hard <laughs> to count how many beads. Adam's at 56. Mm. Steve, small problem with the weight. I can I can try to use my it's gonna be hard because it's you know the, the onyx in it is gonna be heavy. Let me try using my postage scale and see if I can set set it to grams. Um because oh yes, Shelly. Thank you for reminding me. I forgot. Kilos, ounces, and kilograms. Yeah, Junebug made that cup, Casual Flipper and Dawn. Ding, ding. <laughs> okay, Eddie. No, I won't. My postage scale is too big. And my small... Drug scale needs batteries, which I have to remember to do that. Do you have uh, like a Weight Watcher scale or something like that? I don't. But your posted scale won't. Um... I have that scale that I wish I showed and then I kept, but that needs batteries too. See my little scale that I have? It needs batteries. What kind of batteries? It, it has the uh, triple A, and I think we only have uh, double A's in the house. Massimo, what? do we have any triple A batteries, buddy? No, we don't. Just double A's, right? I don't think we have double A's either. No, Daddy has some double A's hidden in his um, dresser drawer. Does anybody know want to know why? <laughs> I don't want to know why. <laughs> I was going to say. What for, <laughs> Does anybody want to know why he hides them in his dresser drawer? I can go get them and show them to you. <laughs> it's the truth. I'm not lying. Remember the bracelet? Thou shall not lie. I'm not lying. <laughs> James is like, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Batteries in his drawers. As to borrow a remote control, they're they're triple A, Nancy. And that's exactly, Betty's throwing up, and toys. No, no, no. Get your minds out of the gutter, all of you. All of you. Donna's been coming to the Amber auctions, right, Amber? <laughs> God. Yes, Kathy, for remotes. Because the kids, they game. The All my kids game. So um, 
they're always changing the batteries out in their gaming things. I mean, they don't game a lot, but I don't know if they don't turn off their devices. So we are constantly buzz, buzz. We're constantly going through um, the batteries. So my husband, he hides them. <laughs> oh, Ed Jafrida says, no, 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 folks. You got the wrong size battery. I know I'm an expert. It's D batteries. <laughs> <laughs> that go in those devices. <laughs> Ed, you're so funny. <laughs> it is. It's for the remotes. Okay, Adam, thank you so much for buying it. Thank you. I hope you love it. I don't know if you're going to sell it or keep it, but... Good, 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 good vibrations. 61... I'm going to call it Donna Jewelry. The Donna Jewelry. Put it in a little bag. Nice deal, Adam. Yes, you got a very nice deal, Adam, and I appreciate you very, very much. I'm glad that you got such a nice deal. Okay. Um... I'm going to do a one-off, you guys, of, and I, I do have some flesh lots, but I'm going to do a one-off, and if Mama G says she wants it, she gets it first, just saying. Oh, my gosh, oh yes. Do you want it? Away, you know what you wanted. Want Why did you even show it? Put it away. <laughs> do you want it? Yes. Okay, this is going to Mama G. I bet $50. No. <laughs> <laughs> did win the thing okay mama g gets that one so how about this one ten dollar start for easter does somebody anybody want to buy an easter gift for someone ten dollars is the start she's absolutely adorable and i'll do some lots but right now i'm just going to do for those for those why is adam saying 56 <laughs> Oh, he's outbidding Mama G. Nobody outbids nope. Mama G here, Adam. <laughs> it wasn't even put in the chat at to do anything with, so right. <laughs> there's no bidding on that one. Sorry, Adam. Yes, I believe it is. I believe this is one of the shelf pulls. Look, spotless. Spotless. My, my shelf pulls and my regular bears all kind of got mixed up. If you saw my video of the storage unit, I, I have like bins and bins of them. Look at it. It's like brand new. It's Build-A-Bear. It's a Build-A-Bear, yeah. Yeah, she's adorable with a little heart nose. So cute. With the blue eyes. Joy Munkin is at 10. Betty wants to know if it's new. Um, like... Brand, no. brand new? Or? No, no. It's not brand, brand new. It's a shelf pull. So they probably had it in the store as, as a, you know, as a um, sample. And then like the Build-A-Bear stores, they don't put their items on sale. What they do is when the items get discontinued, they pull them from the store. They don't like mark them down like some stores do. And they send them all back to the home office. And then the home office puts them all together and they sell them off in um, pallets. I think it was more of a joke about new things the other day on the auction, but, but thank you for the explanation. Oh, but it's true. A lot of places do that. Like some places will mark down jewelry and some places will just like do a shelf pull. How many polka dots? Someone, someone, she's being awfully fresh tonight, Miss Betty Webb. Betty, do you want me to count them? I love how the, the little dress has these like little bows on this that, that go up on the side. You see them on each side. So cute. Um, little Martin's nest is in at 18. Does it need batteries? It doesn't. It does not. Jessica's at 20. How many flowers are on the lace? Oh, dear Lord. I don't know, but it is stinking adorable. Is Ronnie G here? Where's Ronnie G? How come I don't see her? Is she in the chat? I don't see her. 
Someone said laugh out loud, Ronnie G. She was here. Was she? I don't yeah. see her. Oh, cute, Jessica. Okay, going once. Oh, there she is. Hi, Ronnie G. I didn't see you, honey. You were hiding. Okay, build a bear, pink nose, heart. That's how I'm going to distinguish her. And she's going out for $20 to Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. Congratulations, honey. She's adorable. All right, T, you putting yourself on? I will. All right, we'll do a lot of comics. Comics, comics. Here's the stack. Is Frank Perez here? Is Frank yes. Perez here? <laughs> Frank, I'm sorry, Frank. <laughs> sorry, Frank. Robin number 29. Superboy and Batgirl number 85. Batman turning points. January 01, number three of five. The Century, number five. Wolverine, number 52. Fantastic Four, number 139. The House of Secrets, still only 20 cents, number 125. What's with disease, Kyle Elliott? Superman, the Man of Steel, 113. Casual comes in for 20. Donna, look at the, the, the look at the number on this comic. Oh yeah, I see I it. Issue number one eleven, the X Men. Awesome. Issue number sixteen, Wildcats. The Uncanny X Men. December ninety six. I don't. Oh, issue three thirty nine. Okay. The Uncanny X-Men. That one I don't see a number on. George is in for 22 now. The Avengers. Issue 258. Fantastic Four. Issue 23. It's the annual. It's actually the annual. Captain Marvel, number 17. Oh, I thought they said Miss T. <laughs> Miss Tree, although my, my very best friend calls me Tree. Two of my very best friends call me Tree instead of T. <laughs> Miss Tree Quarterly, a complete Miss Tree thriller. Hmm, interesting. Oh, Jessica, you're welcome, honey. I'm so glad that you liked the plush lot, Madeline doll. I think th I think that was one of the mystery lots that you ordered from me, right? The $40 mystery lot from last weekend, which you guys, I still have about three or four more to ship out of those mystery lots. Yeah, I think uh, Jenny had asked earlier about one. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll go over that before we end the stream. Some of our regular stuff that we can offer up to people, okay? Okay, awesome. Including All right, Don's in for 32 now, and George is in for, I'm sorry, Don's in for 30, George came in for 32. Marvel Comic presents the 100 greatest Marvels of all time. Number two is the number on that. Wolverine. I don't see a, I feel like this is in backwards. I feel like this is the back of the comic, but I could be wrong. Avengers Power Pack Assemble, two of four. Captain America, number 37. That's a pretty thick issue, that one. 
Robin, number 20. I know, James. You guys got to bear with me. Sorry. Wally West trashed by Flash. Issue number 15. Wolverine, issue number 61. Amazing Heroes, number 190, May 91. This is a pretty thick. This is a thick one. Definitely a thick book. Yeah, it is the fan, I'm sure. You know what? Let's try it. Let's 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 see if it Rut row. Hello. I'm all alone. Oh, just keep bidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry. I just unplugged it. I unplugged the camera so you can see how fuzzy it is, right? I'm fuzzy now. Mama yep. G? Yep. But let's see if we don't hear the noise anymore. So it's either you deal with me a little fuzzy or. Oh, we no, put the noise back on. I'm sorry. We can't put the noise back on. We can't deal with you fuzzy. <laughs> is, is it really fuzzy? Yes. All right. Especially that holographic looking or the glare is making it look weird. Okay. All right. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, I make it disconnected again, Mama G. Just bear with me one okay. second. I'll plug it in again. And okay. <laughs> okay. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I don't have to. I remember, it might be a better transition back over. I think what's happening is maybe I don't know if there's a way I can shut the microphone off on this camera, but I think it's the microphone on this camera actually picking up the noise. And I don't know if there's any way to keep one on and not the other. I don't know, but most of the people can't hear the fan, and when it does come on, it's not that bad. So I would much rather hear the noise than be blurry. Okay. I've got to go back and find out where we're at as far as bids, so give me a minute, okay? Okay. Dark Knight number 25 and Wolverine number 5. The mic, that mic is better. Yeah, I'm sure it is, Sexton. I agree. That's why it's picking everything up. And um, when I have it hooked up to the new, this isn't even my new laptop. This is my husband's laptop. I have to send mine back because the camera doesn't work on it. So as soon as, as, soon as it's back. All right. So we've got Wolverine. Dark Knight. If you guys want to see any again, let me know. This is X-Men as opposed to X-Men. Amazing Heroes. Wolverine again. Flash. Robin. Captain America. Avengers. Wolverine. Marvel Comic Presents 100 Greatest. Miss Tree. Captain Marvel, Fantastic Four, Avengers, X-Men, X-Men, Wildcats, X-Men, Superman, House of Secrets, Fantastic Four, Wolverine, The Sentry, Batman, Turning Points, Superboy and Batgirl, and Robin. I like the predator noise, says Carl. <laughs> so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. What's the number on the Fantastic Four? Can we see the last X-Men? It's brownish orange. I think it's signed. Okay, it's possible. That's possible. I have Kyle Elliott at 55. Okay, so there's a Fantastic Four annual... If that's the one, that's um, issue number 23. That's that one. Then there's Fantastic for this one, number 139. And then which one, the Wolverine or the X-Men? I'm sorry, Mama G, which was the other one? The last X-Men, it's brownish orange. I'm just going to pull all the X-Men because I'm not sure. James, I have several Build-A-Bears that aren't 16 inches long. They're smaller. I don't see any signature on this one. I don't know if that's the one, but we'll go to another one. And here's another one. Uh, I don't see... And this is X Man, M A N, as opposed to X Men. I won't see anything on that. And that's it. Um, and if you guys are interested in signed comics, if anybody is, not tonight, maybe tomorrow night, I do have a signed. I don't remember if it's a Batman or a Superman. It's signed by like four different people, like the illustrator, the publisher, the author, like a whole big thing. It's that lightning bolt. Okay. All right, we're going to go once to Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, everyone who is bidding. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, is that from Donna, Jessica? <laughs> Don't put it in. <laughs> thank you, George. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you guys bidding. Thank you, thank you. Are you calling me? Um, Jessica, I don't know if she bought that lot from you. Did she buy you a lot of plush from you? Yes. Yeah. Did she buy a Packmate plush from you? What's a Packmate? With, with a zipper that has a necklace in it? <laughs> Is this a trick question? <laughs> no, it's not a trick question. It's just pretty amazing. It was a necklace called Packmates, and it had a zipper inside of it. Was a necklace. What kind of necklace was inside of it, Jessica? Ooh, toys. Toys! Toys, 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 toys. 
guys, it's a mishmash. And let me just get another box. Let me get a box to transfer it in. It'll just be easier. Just um, what kind of necklace was it? Fisher Price. Oh, did someone hide a diamond? Tell us. It was a plush lock and a rabbit, and it had a zipper in the back and a necklace inside. No, I didn't know. What kind of necklace was it? Tell us. Tell us. Did you just score something? There's a little person in here. That was so loud. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to be. Mm, a couple of a couple of dwarves in here. That's another one. It's really just a mishmash. Honestly, guys, I did not separate anything in here. These are all rubber. Oh, yeah. Well, that, this is a softer rubber. These are harder. Oh, my God. We're not <laughs> getting back into hard and soft rubbers again. Jeez. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. I keep and forgetting. And Betty in the chat. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, I keep forgetting. Oh my god, there's just everything in here. It's like crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. Be safe. <laughs> Judgment carrot. I mean, there's even some trucks and cars, and I don't know. It's just, there's some army men. And I didn't separate any of this. I truly did not separate any of this. It just is what it is. You got Dalmatian stuff. You got a motorcycle. We got a police car, I think. No, that's not. Oh, that's missing wheels. That one's missing wheels. I don't know, but we'll throw it in anyway. You got some more little people. These are the mini ones. This is one of these guys. Here's an army guy. Here's a Lion King, Disney, uh, Burger King, or McDonald's toy. Uh, there's a wrestler in here. Opening emails anytime soon. <laughs> what? I said, be careful opening emails anytime soon. <laughs> Might be getting pictures. Oh my god, this is a weeble wobble, but they don't fall down. I don't know. This is a what's the name of this thing? I've seen this surface. No, what is this called? Fur fur something. I can't read it. Fur fat or something. It has wheels at the bottom. It's all furry. And this ear. <laughs> There's a train, and Winnie the Pooh. Here's some more peeps. Here's a Tasmanian devil. Here's, I guess, Simba. Or the Lion King. One of the ones. One of the Lion King. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at how cute this is. It's one of those pop-up vacuum cleaners. That's cute. Oh, that's like a sample one. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably for like doll houses, right? Yeah, that's probably what that is. Here's another car. Yeah, it's just a nice lot if you guys want to dabble into some different smalls. This one I think is to the Fisher Price um, train or one of those Fisher Price Animal Kingdom, something like that. 
That's a SpongeBob pizza, it looks like. Here's some little peeps, more little people, little people. Here's some bigger people. See, can I see underside one of those people? Can you see underside? This is the bigger one. I'll do both if you want. Oh, let me do the loop. Let me. Do you don't have to do that part. Is it to go on the Duplo blocks? Oh, I don't know. I no, it looks like a different brand. Nope, that's it. Okay. Thank uh, you. Yeah, just the smaller ones, the real small ones, are the usual, like, little tiny ones. It's the little people instead of, like, the Lego brand. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I'll throw this I'm not in. not saying that right. Don't listen to me. But he's lost his head. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> <laughs> That might be the best kind of person. Scooby, Scooby, Scooby. Popo. There's some weapons in here, too. There's some army men, some more weapons. Not sure what that's to. Looks like um, an easel. Maybe probably dollhouse or something. Dollhouse toy you can um, advertise that as. Another car. This is looks like a backpack to somebody that's one of the Disney characters. Goofy. Guns. Whoops. bunch of pieces of stuff. This is another Grand Prix racer. McDonald's 1998 giveaway. It looks like some tool or cannon. More parts to lots of smalls here you guys can just list. People buy weapons and all this stuff. It's a car. This looks like a Scooby. I don't know why it's in this plastic bag. Let's take it out. Yeah, some Scooby car. Some pizza guy. Some weird guy, alligator that might do something like move. I'm not sure. Here's another rubber alligator. This is a small doll. I don't know. Another car. Another army man. Another car from the cars. hairbrush not sure piece to something don't need the plastic bit a tweety rattle uh, another weapon and a chair maybe to some air airplane or something oh i think i showed this i don't know if i showed this this looks like the top to a plane all right so that's the entire box Lots of weapons in there, guys, and little people and big people. Yeah, little little something to keep keep you listening. All right, are we gonna call it? We're gonna call it.
Hey, Christina. Christina's in for 46. Forty-eight now from Claudia. Right, Janine. I know that's crazy, Paul. That's crazy. Christina's in the 55. Okay. And this, there's a few loose ones that I couldn't fit in here. I'd certainly be in a much bigger box than this. Picky Mickey's in for 60. Yeah, please be careful in Texas, all my friends. Please, 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 please. Three to five inches is like us having a two-foot blizzard for you guys. I mean, it's probably even worse because you guys just don't have the stuff or the equipment. So please be See, careful. Are you going to have any more autographs coming up tonight? I was going to do, do one, yes. Okay, thank you. Somebody oh. in the chat asked. Okay. Yeah, that pile up was awful, right? Oh my God. Is this is 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 it getting worse or is this another one? Because I thought it was only a hundred. It, it doesn't only. I thought I heard a hundred. Hey, Robert. Was Robert asking? My friend went to Florida and now she's in the hospital down there with COVID. It's a long story because she turned away from the hospital because she was from out of state. Wait, she was turned away from the hospital. Hi, Christina. Well, Donna. What, honey? Broken air arrow. Amber got scarves this morning and you needed to ask her. She wanted to do something differently while I finished this toy lot. Okay, so Broken Arrow, I did a video. I sweetened the pot. This morning I offered five scarves for $18, and I decided to uh, do buy one, get one for less than half price. So I'm doing 20 scarves for 25 if you want to change your order, honey. If you only want the five, then we can. I'll just send you the five. But if you want to sweeten the deal, I can do... Um, 10 for 25. All right. So let us know, Amber, if you want the new deal. 10 scarves for 25. Yep. I decided to sweeten the pot. Wow. Crazy over there. 85 to Christina. Yeah, guys, make sure you're taking your vitamins. D D three is so important. One hundred now from Picky Nikki. Yes, yes, Pam scarves. Yes, she'll take the twenty five. No, not plus shipping. It's twenty five with shipping, honey. With shipping, with shipping. She's gonna ship them with shipping, even though it's kind of breaking our rules. We're I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. And I'll show you guys um, at the end of the show. I'll show you what the deal is. I did do a video on it, but I'll show you what the deal is at the end of the. Um, yes, Steve, for sure. Oh, I didn't know that she had an accident. I'm sorry to hear that. What are those vintage toys? Yes. Yeah, Amber, can you believe it? She's breaking the rules. 
110 now from Christina. <laughs> Nancy, you want to do... Um, Didn't Nancy, Nancy buy 50 for some the other night? Yes, yeah, she did. Okay. You want to do you want to do another um 10, Nancy? She got 50 for $50, I think. One twenty now from Picky Nikki. Let me see what you got. Well, I can't show it now because it's all in a box. I put it all in a box. Holy cow! What is it? All the box. And actually, it didn't all fit in this box, and it's definitely gonna have to go in a much bigger box. But you know what? I really love this. is so cute. Remember these little pop-ups? Oh my god, that's adorable! Like, this must be for like a dollhouse. You know, it's, instead of like, remember we had to be for ones? a baby, like when you have your baby dolls and they have little accessories to go with it. It's so your baby doll has one to push. Right. Does it be too big for a dollhouse, right? Yeah. Um, I guess. Yeah, it's too big for a dollhouse. Christine is at 130. And it's then this, these, these jointed ones, I think are special too. Aren't they like for some kind of Fisher Price um, animal thing? I think they were special too. I don't know. There's lots of weapons in here too, which is good. Cars, um, little people. I don't know what this is each one. She missed it. That's because I was just putting together. Brace yourself, Mama G, because I got a buy it now coming up. Another. <laughs> and it's not happening now. now. <laughs> huh? And it's like she wants to see each individual one. Please. Yeah, I, know. I read that. No, it's not going to happen, Ed. It's not going to happen. Team shipping little people and weapons, James. Really? No, Talbert's oh. mom. I didn't. <laughs> oh, that's uh, cool, Amber. That must be so adorable. I love decorating the tree different ways. I mean, I got these beautiful ornaments from Christopher this year, but most of my ornaments were um, stuffed animals. I did like a Mickey um, Disney theme. Just put some stuffed animals in there. All right. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. Thank you. Boys, Christina. By the way, I'll probably pull the stuffed animals out and sell them because <laughs> I don't know about holding on to them. One thirty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you ready there, Missy? I am ready. And um, I'm going to do this as a buy it now, and I'm going to show. Not ready. <laughs> You're not ready? Go ahead. I'm going to, I'm not going to write it down on my, on my sheet. I'm going to write it down on the actual bag. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do for tonight's buy it now. I'm going to offer, there's 25 pieces of jewelry in here. 25 pieces of jewelry and it's going to be $20. So whoever is interested in this bag, write me in the chat. So there's 25 pieces, write me and I'm going to put your name right on the bag for this bag here. Don wants it. Okay. Don. So Don's name's going to go on this one. All right. Next. Here's the next one. There, wait. I've got Mimi resells and Susan all trying now. So that one's sold. That one's sold. To Don. One's so sold. this is going to be back. Put a heart or a dancing emoji in the chat for me. And then whoever claims this one right after the dancing emoji. Mama G, you do you want me to do that while you write people down? Yes. Okay. $20. There's at least 25 pieces. Some bags have more. If you only get 19, I'm sorry. I just put them together really, really quick just now. Here's the next one. Buy it now. I can't find the dancing emoji. <laughs> I can't find the dancing emoji. We'll, 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 we'll put grapes in the chat. 
Donna likes grapes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shanna. Shanna. Okay, now here's the thing, you guys. This one here, it's going to have to go with combined shipping because this is probably three pounds and it's going to cost me like $8 to ship it out. So it's going to have to go with combined shipping unless you guys want to pay shipping on it if you want it sooner. Okay, here's the next one. Uh, Steve got it. Purple Rose. Next. Slow down. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Moni Love. Mooney Love. All right, so that's the third bag sold to Mooney Love. Fourth. I think that was number four. That was okay. Four. No, he's helping out with the dancing emojis. <laughs> Hot flipping finds, Pam. Oh, look what this bag has on it. Something that she bought for me. Hot flipping finds. Oh, update on Jenea. The person paid the thousand dollars. Awesome. Okay, I've only got two left. And also, when you guys not seeing me or things like that, it's because when you do it in the chat, it's going to come in on my computer because I'm not typing anything. So me. he's going to say go. To, you're supposed to put the word me, Bren. Just me. Just M-E. Here's the next one. Valerie Galmish. Thank you, Valerie. Valerie Gal. And here's the last one. You know, it's frozen as a big blob. You're absolutely right. Shanna. Shanna Shorter. Shanna. Awesome. That's all of them. That's all I got. Well, I have more. But that's all I have. I put the wrong Shanna in the charts chat, so I want to make sure you get it. Um, it's, it was Shanna it was Schroeder. Shanna Schroeder, yeah, Shanna Schroeder. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> look at look at Steve with the dancing girls. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You go, Donna. You go, Donna. You go, Donna. You guys are helping me buy new tires for my truck. <laughs> I need new tires before I go away next weekend. Okay. All right. So let's do this flush lot. Actually, let me um, let me go over what today's buy it now video was. Um, so basically, it is these scarves. They're all let me see if I have okay. These are the colors, more or less. You can watch the buy it now video if you want. These are the colors, they're made in India, they're very transparent. They are um uh rayon, but they do have a curled edge. Um, you can see the curled edge on them. 
um, as far as the, fit, the, the stitching goes. And you get 20 of these for $25. You get 20 of them. You get um, 10. You get so, 10 of them. I keep saying 20. I'm sorry. You get 10 for 25. 10 scarves for $25. And they can be worn, you know, they're great to be worn like this, you guys. They can be worn, you know, they're really, really small. Yeah, oopsie. They're really, really small, so they're great to fit right into your purse, you know, keep them in your car, you know, in case you forget your mask. I mean, I don't know how much protection it's going to give you, but at least it's a, a face covering. Um, some of them are square. Some of them are long. So you changed it. I did tell Bert's mom. I, I sweetened the pot. I went from 5 for 18 to 10 for 25. 10 for 25. That's how many you get. You get all. You can change colors. yours, Talbert's mom. You can change yours. She's letting you guys from this morning change yours. Did Talbert's mom order one this morning? I believe she did. Okay. So they are um, really cute. Let me see. If Kathy is in the chat, she's the one I wanted to check on because she had two orders of those. Well, yeah, she's I'm not going to be in the chat now. She's live. Yeah. No. I'll just. I'll just. Um, I'll just up her order. It's fine. Are the hems rolled? Willow yeah. wants to know. Yes. And Talbert's mom said she'll do the 25, please. Yeah, see, they're rolled. See them? Yeah, they're rolled. Um, so here's my scarf. So let's see. Talbert's mom is going to do... Um, okay, so the Crafty Hen House, you can change yours as well. Elaine, you can you can you can you can take um, one order or two orders, whichever you prefer. Um, Ten for twenty-five. Does Crafty Hen House want to change it? Or I'm asking her now. She has yeah. Oh, she has two from this morning, so I can send you twenty for twenty-five. A sweet in the pot for fifty. Ten for twenty-five. Twenty for fifty. Correct. Correct. So let us know. Misha, yes. Um, I have you on the list. I put it down. I watched it. One order, please, of 25. Okay. Crafty. Kathy Turnquist would like an order. Crafty Hen House gets one order. Kathy Turnquist gets one order anybody else <laughs> before we pass it over to T so this is who I have Susie DeChampis Laura Bemos Misha Jen Bennett times two um Lindsay Janine, Richard Sanchez, Donna Summers, Carol Ann, Amber Broken Arrow, Nancy Newhall, Talbert's mom, <coughs> Crafty Henhouse, <coughs> Kathy Turquist, excuse me. Hey, Cheryl. All right, so I think we're done with that, right? We got all the orders. Christina would like an order. Christina? Mm hmm Yes, please. Right. You want, um, how many do you want, Christina? 10? For 25? Thanks, Steve, for helping. Well, and if you go back, I am wrong it was not shauna schroeder after the drop the dancing ladies it was shauna frazier it was shauna frazier yep she put me before he put the dancing ladies <coughs> that was my mistake sorry guys okay. all right i'm going to um so this one's going to go to donna shauna frazier frazier 
I will try, try, try to do my best to try to get some more of these. Um, Christina wants 10 for 25. Christina. That's one order. Barbara does not want to change hers from this morning. She still only wants to do the five for 18. Got you, honey. Yep. Yes, Kathy, I have you, honey. I have you. I'm trying to find my list from this morning. I don't know why it's not sitting right here. Oh, it's right here. Whoops, don't fall over. So for single orders, all right, KK, I'm gonna I'm gonna double her order because she wanted she wanted to order. So I'm gonna give her one for 25. So for single orders, I have it see Talbert's mom's gonna go off the list. KK's going off the list. Barbara wants one June bug. She wants to keep her. She said she wanted yep. to keep it the way she got it. Right. So for single orders, which is, I'm just going to do this right now while we're live. Um, so it's for $18 and it's for five scarves. The people that want to stay with 18 is Barbara, Junebug, um, Broken Arrow, Updated, Crafty Hen House, Updated. Um, did Julie Mars update you guys? Does anybody? I don't write. I didn't. I write don't it. think so. I don't think so either. Julie, are you in the chat? Um, K Fry. I didn't see K Fry in tonight. Okay, K Fry. I will have we'll to ask her for coffee. She'll definitely be in for coffee in the morning. All right, we'll ask her for coffee. I'm going to put down K Fry. Adam would take one. Um, Adam, you want one? Okay, Adam. One for 18. And then Misha has a question. Donna, can you put that necklace from a while ago with the car scarves yeah. and invoice me when you can? Yeah, no I already, I, yep, I already thought of that, Misha. I'm going to put it here. Add necklace. Yeah, she has a necklace that I've been holding on for her for a long time. Um, ain't seen Julie Morris. Okay. Okay. So the only question that we have is K Fry is a question mark. Barbara, we know I got that. Julie Morris is a question mark. Julie Morris, we need to ask question mark. Take her off the original list. And that's Shelley it. Shelly Talbert, 10 for 25. Me scarves 10 for 25. Okay, let me put you on this list. If you refresh your chat and go back, Shauna Schroeder, you will see that right after the one dancing ladies, then I put sold, and then you put me, and then there was more dancing ladies, and then she Shauna. Shauna, don't Schrader. worry. Shauna, I got you covered, honey. I got Donna's got it fixed. I got it. I got you, baby. I got you. <laughs> you get a mystery one. All right, Shauna, you good with that? And Don's saying something's hooked on your fiber optic light. No, my fiber op optic light needs no, a No, no, behind you, Donna, where the boss sign is. That's a fiber optic light. Oh, yeah, because it keeps, it keeps, yeah, it's hitting, it's hitting um, uh, Minnie's ear. Okay, wait a minute. Let me go back to this. Like twenty. All right, twenty dollars for the jewelry bag. Let me write this down. That's lot number ten for me. Jewelry bag. Okay, I'm putting that as a separate. As I'm putting it. I'm putting it down on my sheet. Those I didn't write down on my sheet. Okay, who was this last person that just said they wanted? Um, okay, um, so we've got Shauna Schroeder gets a jewelry bag, and then you're going to make a jewelry bag for Shauna Fraser too. Okay, so Donna Frazier, I have marked down, and I'm going to make a jewelry bag for Donna Schroeder. Shauna. Uh, yeah, sh uh, Shanna. Yeah, Shanna. Yeah, yeah Shanna yeah, yeah. and Shauna. 
Yeah. No, somebody else just ordered um, another scarf lot. I saw it in the chat because I went to go get a new blank sheet because I'm, I didn't, ran out of room in my other sheet. So Adam, did you get Adam? 25 scarves. Wait a minute. $25 scarves, 10 pieces. Okay, Adam, <clears throat> Adam, 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 Adam. Um, I do not have Adam on the list. Okay, Adam wanted one, and then Shelby, Shelly Talbert wanted one. Adam wants one for 25, and then who else? Shelly Talbert. Shelly Talbert. Tarpet, sorry. I'm blending her and Talbert's mom together. Okay, Shelly. Tarbit. Tarbit. 10 for 25. Yes, 10 for 25. Good night, Frank. Night, Frank. Did I miss anybody? I'm going to go down the list, okay? Let me know, you guys, if I missed you. Susie, Bemos, Misha, Jen wants two $25 lots. Lindsay, Janine, Richard, Sanchez, Donna Summers, Carol Ann, Amber Broken Arrow. These are the these are the $25, uh, $25 lots. Nancy Newhall, Talbert's mom, Crafty Henhouse, Kathy Turnquist, Christina, KK, Adam, and Shelly Tarbett. Okay, if you didn't hear your name, let me know. I get I get called Talbert all the time. Okay, so this sheet I can get rid of because this was the original sheet. This was the original sheet. We and can't get rid of it. You do have a couple that still I want the... No, I already transferred it on. And the ones that are getting single... Is Barbara Bushmonti June? Um, Adam was originally doing the single. I got to take him off because off of this list because he went with a with the special. Barbara June, K Fry and Julie Mars are the ones we need to find out for sure if um, if they want to go with the special. Barbara we know wants to stay. Thank you, Misha. Barbara we know wants to stay. Um, we just need to find out just from three people, June, K Fry, and Julie Mars. They're the only ones that did the original. You guys do me a favor though, go over and watch the video too. And make a comment in it because it helps the algorithm. If you have a free moment, do that. Okay. T, do you want to go on? Whenever you're ready, honey. Yeah, you can go on. I just took up like 20 minutes of, of taking buy it now orders. Okay. <laughs> All right, I have these three, um, I won't say signs, they're dedicated photos, they're vint. They're like old time actors. I don't even know if half of you know who they are. I think they're actors, I don't even know. Um, this says to my buddy Jay, all my best, Al Driscoll. I don't know who he is. Thank you, Steve, you're so sweet, Steve. Thanks for coming in and helping. You guys click on that link and just uh, hit reminder on it or something so you can watch it. Uh, hi, Donna. I sent you a message on one of your other videos. Robert Williams sent me what kind of message? What kind of message? Send an email, Robert. Drop, drop, drop Donna's. Um, this is. I am drinking coffee, Woodbine Girl. <laughs> Trust me, honey. 2J, thank you for the fullness and happiness you have given my life, Jackie. Who knows who that is? And there is a crease in this photo, just FYI. There is a crease if you can see it. No, Richard, that was not the Captain and Tennille. D. Hewitt. Uh, D. Hewitt wants... John, what do you want to give me for these? There's three of them. Three different people. So the, again, that is um, Jackie. Yes, I have you, D. Hewitt. Thank you, honey. Jay, here's wishing you the best of everything. Always stay as wonderful as you are. With all my love, Evelyn Fossum. Woodbine girl saying his her uncle. Who's your uncle? <laughs> 
Al Driscoll. <laughs> Al Driscoll. Thank you, D. Hewitt. Did your um did your son get the the um cans? I hope he was happy with them. KJ says, I want my photo back. Right? KJ, I thought about you with these names. Look, it says J. <laughs> Here's wishing you the best of everything. Evelyn Fossum. <laughs> Look. <laughs> to J. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. KJ comes in for 24. He can tell everybody he knew these people. These were his people. These were his peeps. No idea what my phone is. Awesome day. We lost your phone. Yeah, and it's on silent. Yeah, well, that's your oh, it's on the scale. <laughs> the scale that doesn't work. Nancy's in for 26 now. No, my scale does work. It only just pounds and ounces. It wouldn't it wouldn't do the grams for some reason. It, I think it was just like not enough grams. So you could have you could have done the ounces and we could could convert it. Oh that... yeah. Didn't I say that? Oh, your girlfriend. She's beautiful, KJ. She's beautiful. <laughs> Was that Popeye? Ronald, I have no idea. Does anybody know who Al Driscoll is? I mean, this is a vintage photo, and he was old in that photo. So he might have been like an actor in the like early 1900s. I don't know. He may not be an actor at all. <laughs> it can be nice, Dee. I am being nice. She doesn't listen. <laughs> oh, Betty Webb, you tattletale. <laughs> anyway, I would never say anything here that I wouldn't say to her. So it's all good. See, she's listening to me about as much now as she does on a regular basis. <laughs> All right, are we going to call it to Jay? Nancy's out. KJ's going to get it. KJ, I'd be interested to know who these people are. KJ's like my pappy. <laughs> awesome. I'm not. I'm really not. Um, photos. It's pretty funny, though, that it says Che. It really is. 43rd governor of New Jersey. Really? Interesting. Hmm. Ah, Alfred Driscoll, a politician from New Jersey. Interesting. All right, KJ sold twenty-eight dollars. Thank you, KJ. All right, let me show you what I have in this baseball lot. Um, first one is this one signed Jose Irby, shortstop. Minnesota Twins, Phil Roof. These these particular cards this year, he was a catcher, were, were electronically signed, so it looks like he signed them as well. My family thanks you, T. <laughs> like a facsimile, and then he signed in pen underneath it? Right, above it. See, the, the, above this, it? The, the lower signature is how these cards were made that year. What year Got is it. the Jose Irby? Let's get the loop. Let's get the loop. 
Let's loop. What do you want to start this lot at, T? $20. We'll start at $20. If <laughs> we want it, they'll bid it up. $90. That's a $90 on that one. This one is, I think, a $75, if I'm not mistaken. I know this card because these were in my bicycle. <laughs> Yep, 1975 on that one. This is Al Lighter. I'm pretty sure it's his rookie. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Which is first full year of baseball on the Yankees. Jessica wants to know if she can see. Absolutely, absolutely. Seven, yeah, he only played four games, it looks like. So, yeah. She wants to see the Irby again. Right, Robert? I am. <laughs> I am, I am. So this is a numbered card. It's number 542 of 1,000 on this. This has to, this is two sided. This one, it's two sided or it's two cards. No, it's just two sided. It's two sided. Three eighty six of nine ninety nine and four forty two of ninety nine. I don't know how they do that, but Bruce, there's that Pete Rose card. Oh, why he wanted a Pete Rose card? Did he want a Pete Rose card? I don't know. He was saying something about Pete Rose one time in the chat. Huh. That's a 1986. Jessica said she got kicked out. Does and she was bidding. Does she need you to show any of the other cards again? I'm not finished with showing them. I know. Oh. I, I'll, I'll go through them again quick. I'll go okay. through them. Let me just finish. That's numbered 519 of 3499. Money Me would like to know approximately how many cards you have. Um... I don't know. I'll count them when I'm done, Money Me. 
patties. <laughs> Why is Bruce putting free Pete Rose card? Nobody said anything about free. That's all right, Jessica. No worries. I'll wait for you to put out Jessica before we'll I wait, sell it. Yeah, we'll that? wait till you um, type out. Um, these are these are actually in a little bit of a box, but I'll show them individually first. And these have a number on them as well. All right. That's again, that's just in a little that's in a little case. Oh, here I am thinking it's Tom Glavin. Here I am thinking I have the loop up here. <laughs> I just wanted to see the year. I know you guys are probably yes for the year on this one for sure. It's a ninety-three on the Glavin. This one says, well, let's look at it. Twelve forty six of two thousand on this one. Kevin Walker. And I don't know if I want to show this one. I don't know. This might be the home run of the lot. I have no idea. I have no idea. Does it mean when they're in those plastic things that they've been graded? No, no. But a lot of people put, oh, this is a reprint. All right, 2002. This is 2002. So this is this is definitely a reprint. This is definitely a reprint. So I don't know. But whoever put it in here put it. Usually when the people get cards, like to protect them, they do usually do something like this or put them in a sleeve. Or that's why, John, you've seen the sheets, right? The baseball yeah. sheets where the people put them in there just to kind of protect them. No, it's not. It is a nice card. It definitely is a nice card. But it is a re it is definitely a reprint. All right. So you got one, two, three. And then there's... I think there's four in here. So there's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. 20 cards. Oh, really? I didn't know that money, me. All right. Any other interest? Are we going to call it? We're going to call it. We're going to call it. Let's call it to casual. There's no other interest. Did we get an out now? Oh, no. Did we get an out from everybody? Vintage Treasures, did we get an out from you, honey? No. And we call didn't get an out. And Jessica says, T, can you read the names off to her, please? She missed most of the beginning. Sure, no problem. So, well, we talked about the Jose Irby, right? We talk, we did talk about that one. And the Phil Roof. And Al Leiter. Hank Aaron. 
this is a classic combination of Stan Music Music Musial and Mark McGuire, two different baseball eras. Uh, Alfonso Soriano, Todd Helton, Mark Mike Schmidt. This is uh, two rookies here on the front. And what Travis. is the year on the Hank Aaron? Oh, it's probably a. Re I'm sure it's just a reprint, to be honest with you. Um, but we'll we'll look at it. It's it's definitely like a, you know, one of those like. Nineteen. Hmm. It's nineteen sixty-two. Anthony says it's a reprint. It has to be. It has to be. Where did you see nineteen sixty-two? Right there. You're oh, that's me? about him. Yeah, but this is the number you want to look for. It's a nineteen ninety-nine. Correct. Or eighty-nine. 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 Nineteen eighty-nine. Still right. old. Oh yeah, and then you've got the the reprint on the Schmidt. This one was two thousand and one, I think. We no, to just two thousand on that. Um, my a uh, Tom Glavin. You're welcome, Jessica. Kevin Barker. And this one, again, had a couple of... Did I go the opposite direction? I don't even know. Todd Helton, again. There's two Todd Heltons in here. Um, Manny Ramirez. Steve Lamassi. I don't know how to spell his, say his name. <laughs> Lamassi. Um Oh, I don't know. This was sitting on my computer. I'll just throw it in. <laughs> um, I'll just throw it in. It's a, you know, it's, it's, it's a killer. I don't know who he is. Pete Rose. And so now there's 21 in here. And this one had a two, was two-sided. It had Travis and Rob Bell and Calvin... Anybody else getting completely kicked off of YouTube tonight? Took me 30 minutes to get back on. You're kidding, Jessica. Oh, my God, my Jess. Jess, are you having bad weather, honey? Why is Willow saying woof, woof? I don't know. Is she lagging? Um, it's possible you in bad weather. All right, sold to Vintage Treasures for 50. Thank you, Vintage Treasures. Appreciate it, honey. Awesome. All right, guys, another five hour auction. <laughs> Not yet. I we know. Three minutes. Oh, you want to sell something else? I'll sell a bag of plush. Okay. I got it right here. All right. Let's see what's in it. How about. How about a Coca-Cola bear? It's a Christmas one. He looks brand spanking new. Not a spot on him. Do you guys see how clean he is? What so, lot is this for you, Donna? Are we going with? Huh? Oh. What lot? Oh, 11. That's a trick question. 11. Ooh, we're ending with lot number 11, you guys. Oh, yes. I forgot vintage treasures. I absolutely am. Which one do you want, honey? I forgot to ask Vintage Treasures. Did anybody else win a sports lot tonight? I forgot to ask. Ribbit, ribbit. Two froggies. They're stuck together. I don't know what this is. There's like a thing here. Maybe to put something like a, I'm thinking like a balloon or something in it. I don't know. Two little froggies stuck together. Saxon Cole. T. Okay. okay. Read his story to him. This is a animated, not the subway or the e. Jingles ready for you. Other one, okay, unforgettable. You got it's it. It's a hallmark. It's a hallmark. 
So I guess it must Nikki. have books. It's an interactive, but his batteries must be, because he... Saxton, are you still here, honey? I'm ready for you to read his story to him. Anyways, that's that one. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the original Build a Bear. As you can see, that the that the uh, it's completely different than the new Build a Bears. Looks like he's got. You probably need to use a wipey on him or something because he's a little bit sticky there in the front. Good night, Bruce. How much are we starting? Thirty dollars ship to start on this, Don. Okay. Here's a white teddy bear. His his tag has been cut off. You're gonna have to do the research and find out who he is. But he's a really soft, cute um, build a bear. Here is a Irish mini me. And um, here is a Commonwealth bunny, which is absolutely beautiful for Easter. Just a beautiful Commonwealth bunny is a that. And then I have this, which. <laughs> Thank you, Casual Flipper. Wild Artist. I don't casual know. Casual Flipper, but you should have a clock emoji. I don't know what this is. That is a sloth. sloth. That's a sloth. Is it a sloth? It looks like I think sloth. it is. One, two, three, four. The froggies are five. The interactive toy is six. These are all big pieces. The Coca-Cola is seven. Thank and you, Casual Flipper. This one is eight. And Otter, Badger. We're getting all kinds of different possibilities. And Eeyore with the tail. I sent one out without a tail one, so I always Garrett. make sure it has a tail. Um, it's uh, it's a Disney store original. Is going in there, and I am gonna sweeten the pot with her. Oh, Minnie, Eeyore. Don, she wanted to start this at thirty, honey. Yep. And it's a big lot, so it might have to go out in two bundles because there's a lot here. Or I might 35 to, to Nancy it. Newell. I may have to separate it into two separate bundles. 35 to Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. This is lot number 11. It's plush. 37 from Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're hanging in there and you're not jumping off the internet. <clears throat> 40 from Nancy. Carl. Carl, Carl 45. For being over here. Yes, yeah, Stephen, we'll be on tomorrow. We have coffee at 11 a.m. Eastern back here on this channel. And then we'll be on Donna's channel. We haven't discussed the time yet. So just make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification on. And it's Valentine's Day, you guys. So I got to come up with something really, really awesome for Valentine's Day. Don't know what. Got to think of something really great. Okay, we're going to close it to Nancy for 50. Anybody else, Jessica? I need to make sure Jessica is out first, Donna. You know what? I'm making an executive decision. Donna and I are going to do some kind of giveaway tomorrow each. For everyone who comes back and leaves a comment on this video, which includes the word red. How big is Minnie? How tall is Minnie? Oh, she's big. She's this big. She's a big girl. Valentine's knives, Richard. <laughs> yep. She's a big girl. And she's like brand spanking new. Not a spot on her. Clean as a whistle. now from Jessica. 
clean as a whistle. <clears throat> Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> Quit talking about me like that, Donner. 60 Good from Nancy. Nancy. She's adorbs. All right. Since I'm going to have to send it out in two, I'm going to add this too. She's got some sort of mechanism. Let's see if I can turn her on. Oh, She's Mallory, you'll have to come in so we can sing happy birthday. Did you find your happy birthday? Yeah. Okay. I didn't yes, want to. 65. Oh, I can't turn her on. But you'll get this too. And I'm sure her unicorn probably lights up and she sings. She's got a mechanism in her. 75 from Nancy now. I'm going to throw her in there too. Because it's going to be a big lot. Should I let go of the mother goose? Oh, God. Do that as a one-off. Do that as a one-off. Why? Hey, Wendy Wonder Woman. Because it's expensive. Yeah. All, right. All right, then I'll throw this one in. Oh, it's a Build-A-Bear. No. Oh, it's a Vermont teddy bear. No, it's a Vermont teddy bear. Completely oh, dressed. Oh, with his sweats on. Oh, my gosh, that's too cute. Because, because we said so, that's why. Just Adorable, get that right? 80. Thankful that I am single, says Nancy. <laughs> and the Vermont Teddy Bear Company, you guys, they make really great, great teddy bears. And this is all jointed. Um, yeah, it's all jointed. $100 from Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Jessica. You guys are great. So this will probably go out in two lots because this is a tremendous lot. You get a lot of really nice plush there. And they're all in, like, perfect condition. So, so adorable. Thank you, Susan. It is adorable. It is really, really adorable. Okay, okay. You win, Nancy. I guess that's Jessica's out. All right, we're going to call it to Nancy Cohen once. You put up a good fight, honey. Thank you, Jessica. All right, so let's see, this is going to Nancy, lot number 11. All right, so it's still early enough in the night for me. I, I think what I'm going to do is have some dinner, and I'm going to pack up some of these orders because I have orders everywhere, and I will invoice you, and I am going to print some, some slips and just put them in the outgoing. They, they're not going to go out until Tuesday, but um, I am going to print my my slips and try to get some of the stuff out. Um, don't forget our friends Gary and Tom are having their auction tonight and the treasure hustlers are on as their special guest. So please go over there and say T and Donna sent us. And you guys, thank you so much. Right. T. Yes, I'm not gonna, like, it's thank channel. you guys. Appreciate it so much. Five hours. Thank I you so have much. A bit higher, but my husband walked in the room and said, is she talking about you? <laughs> Jessica, that's why some people in the chat use like d d change their name, and so they have no idea. <laughs> we had that happen. We had one of our buyers change their name so that they're so if they were playing it out loud, not with or something, Thank you. we appreciate the you. wouldn't hear them say. Going once to Amanda, going twice to Amanda, <laughs> right. sold. $100 to Amanda. And the husband was like, uh, is that you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Or oh, you use your buds. True broken arrow. Yes. Jessica, yeah, you're going to have to change your name. Yeah. Yes, or use your earbuds. 
<laughs> Betty Webb, thank you so much for your help. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Riker, thank you so much for your help, Don. Thanks, Mama G. Drop the link to Gary and Tom's. Go over there and sell them. T and Donna sent you over. And Rhonda. we'll see you guys tomorrow for coffee, 11 a.m. Eastern. Oh, I didn't even know Rhonda was here. Rhonda, you've been here? She dropped the link to, to Gary. I didn't even see her making any. I know she came in in the beginning. Um, <clears throat> okay, Rhonda, we got it. Yes, we got it, Rhonda. We got oh, it. We say it's we, not we've me already anymore. mentioned it. We've mentioned it. We've got it. We got you covered. We're sending everybody over there. Yes, Lindsay, there will be. Thank you, yeah. Kelly. Yes, there'll be a special in the morning. Bye, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Mama G.